Yes, Gonzo. Hey, Howard. Hey, brother. Hey, man. Uh, I was looking at Eric the Actor's uh, Twitter, and he's following some pretty sketchy characters. He's like, he's following, uh, you know, he's always like talking about how he's homophobic. Well, he doesn't want to play a gay part, but he's uh, he's following a, a, a famous female porn star named Kimber James. Eric the Actor is following a she-male on Twitter? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Named Timber James. I was reading yeah. some of Eric's tweets. You know, we compile them here. Yeah, I'll get to give you some of these. Like, these are the best. Look, dumb fuck. I am, and by the way, all caps. Mm. Look, dumb fuck. I am neither a Jewish person nor am I a fucking stalker. I have never taken a shit on any lawn at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My life does not suck, you dumb fuck. I am not fat, and I am not drinking myself to death with Pepsi, dipshit. How good are these? How does everyone not follow this kid? Well, it, didn't he say he was going to stop this and just talk to the people he follows? Direct messaging? Yeah, how's that going, Eric? Are you just direct messaging now? Yeah. So, I, are you I, direct I, messaging with Timber James? Look, I had no idea that that was a shemale or whatever that <laughs> dipshit said. You're lying. Eric. Why are you following a shemale? I, mean, I just I just uttered the words. I did not know. How do you not know? Do you have a hearing problem? No, I don't have an earring problem. <laughs> I had no idea. Gonzo, does it say in her profile that she's a shemale? Yeah, she's obviously a female. She's like a, she looks like a dude with big, big boobs, and uh, she's like a really famous uh, female porn star. So Eric must have known. No, I didn't. You dumb fuck. Mm. Shut Sorry, the fuck Eric. Up. I mean, she's she's obviously a dude, and she just cut off her penis though, so it might make Eric a little bit more straight because mm. she doesn't have a penis anymore. But she's still a, a dude. Eric, are you going to keep following this female, or are you going to unfollow? Oh, now that I know. That, no, I will not keep following. Why because... can't you follow the shemale? See, Eric, Eric, you're uh, you're kind of uh, anti-gay a little bit. No, I'm not, you prick. Yeah, but you kind <laughs> of. I are. was. I mean, if you if, why you won't follow someone just because they're a shemale? No, I follow her. She's she's a person. I thought if I was anti-gay, dipshit, I would not be following Neil Patrick Harris. George Sikay, or a lot of other gay actors. That so I, why won't you follow a shemale? You draw the line at that? Yes. Why? <laughs> why did you start following her, Eric? If, if you, if, why, why would you just start I following her? I did not know. How can you not know? It says right on her it profile. Through your damn says, head, you idiot. On her, on her profile, it says female porn star. Like right under, like right next to her name. Yeah. Like X, well, X, X. Obvious, Obviously, I did not pay attention to what the profile said. I'm not buying it, Howard. I don't, I don't, I don't believe it. All right, Gonzo. Uh, Gonzo, thank you for bringing this up. This is a real. Uh, I open her, yeah, Eric, the actor. Yeah, he, also, this, he also follows uh, McDonald and, and Cinnabon. Who does he follow? Um, I, I wrote down a list of stuff here. He follows Cinnabon, McDonald's, Baskin Robbins ice creams. You follow uh, Baskin Robbins ice cream? <laughs> Olive Garden. Olive uh, Garden? <laughs> Why do you Burger follow King? those things? Why does it matter? I'm just curious. And this, this is... And, this is and then a lot of boob, a lot of boob, uh, like boob lovers, hey. boob lovers, <laughs> boob lovers. Paid, Titanic <laughs> Kitties, and Michael Bolton as well. That's another one. <laughs> Give me a word and edge. I'm sorry, like Eric. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Eric. I love this your is face. This is coming from you my follow, you, you follow yeah. Olive Garden, and um, you're probably the only guy who does. I mean, why would you follow Olive Garden? Can I have a moment? Yeah, we're trying to answer the question. Why do you follow Olive Garden? Why, why does it matter? I, it, I'm asking, why? There must be a reason. you got to have that Olive Garden news? 
<laughs> oh, I'm about to fuck and hang up on <laughs> you dipshit for not letting me speak. We keep asking. You don't answer. This pause is your space, and then you don't answer. I'm trying to say something else, and I've been trying to say it for at least two minutes. Just answer my question. Why are you following Olive Garden? I don't. Care. <laughs> what? Well, you do there's, care. You followed Olive Garden. There's, either two, there's two reasons we're talking in the back that he's following Olive Garden. Go ahead. The first one is because they have millions and millions of followers. Maybe some of them will follow him. And the second reason is for the for the free coupons. You know, the coupons. Oh, is that what oh, it is? is that I think. It? They, they, but they give you a free coupon. I think they on, tweet. I think sometimes they'll tweet like a, you know, a the coupon, deal of the day or a coupon. Yeah. Is Gary right? They they get a free coupon? I've never really paid attention. So then why do you follow Olive Garden? I follow a lot of restaurant ones. Yes, why? Cinnabon. I'm just asking why. Oh, Cinnabon's a porn star. Is it? Yeah. No, no, it's, it's, it's not Cinnabon. Cinnabon. That's the cinnamon place. It's oh. the cinnamon it's food. place. Cinnamon place? Cinnabon. Yeah, like where you buy cinnamon rolls. <laughs> you, you follow a place that sells cinnamon, cinnamon buns <laughs> in a in a mall? Yes. Okay. Why? <laughs> how how under a rock do you live not to know what the hell's in a bun is? I live under a rock. I don't go out. I'm sequestered. But as I've been trying Why do you follow a Cinnabon place, cinnamon bun place, that hands out cinnamon buns in a mall, that sells cinnamon buns in a mall? Probably the same fucking reason anyone else follows the company. Okay, why? Just to follow them. You don't know, do you? Do you know why you follow cinnamon buns? <laughs> he doesn't know. You don't know why you follow uh, something. Right, like in other words, I, I can think of um, uh, like I, I okay. follow a photographer or a or uh, like I'm into Photoshop, I like that. Or I'm into uh, I don't know whatever my interests are, like the news, CNN. W why do you follow a cinnamon bun place? Why is this dips get wasting you know, his time reporting what the hell I'm following? You can't answer a question. I know it's weird. Like in other words, like Eric, do you follow Jack Nicholson or Robert De Niro? I got to make a point here. Olive Garden. We just looked it up. They don't even have millions of followers. They have under 100,000 followers, okay? Why is Eric following Olive Garden? Eric, what, what information are you getting? What are you what, waiting what, for? What types of things? Yeah, what like what types of things are you learning about Olive Garden? <laughs> Nothing. It's a fucking free country. I just Yes, oh, but was, why do you? I want to. I'm asking you why you follow them. I get the point Howard's making is there's a there, you could be following Jack Nichols, you'd be following anybody. Why did you choose Olive, Olive Garden. Garden and cinnamon buns? Start with Olive Garden. It, it cropped up as a possible interest when I chose other things. Yeah. So I decided to to choose them just All right. And why do you continue to follow them? What are you learning? Nothing really. I see. Why the cinnamon bun place? Same reason. Which what is? Nothing really. So why don't you follow Dunkin' Donuts? Right. Well, because probably because, A, there's none in California. Mm -hmm. Why do you follow IHOP? Because <laughs> they are a good restaurant that I like to go to. Okay, but so what, what do, do they tweet? Following them on Twitter. Yeah, like what are they? What are they? I'm just, I, Eric. I'm not goofing on you. I'm trying to understand why are you following IHOP. You have a hearing issue. I just said. <laughs> I just said that they are a good restaurant. Yeah, but I mean, like, like, like so what do they tweet? What What are some of their sample tweets? Like, what do they say? Like, hey, we're having a special? Really, to be technical, I hardly ever look at the list of tweets that I follow. 
then why follow them? I don't know. Just because I want it. Man, oh man, it's like it makes pulling no teeth. Sense. He's a tough guy to interview, isn't he? Little guy's a tough guy to interview. <laughs> he also follows Kit Kat, the candy bar. Oh my goodness! Well, what that. is Kit Kat saying? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you can eat it any time. The damn thing that I've been trying to say for the last <laughs> five minutes. Is, oh, because what, 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 whatever agenda you have is probably boring. This is way more interesting. Yeah. What do you want to know, Gonzo? Yeah, I want to know why Eric's following all these females. He follows more than one? I think, yeah, he follows a few, I'm pretty sure. Well, I've, I've, that's the first one that I, that I uncovered, but I'm sure there's there's way more. There's like <laughs> so why is it okay for him to follow, like, like, why in his head is it okay to follow gay dudes? But not a she But not a she -mail. In fact, yeah. I would think a she before a gay dude if you're going to be homophobic, because a she at least looks like a woman. It's on the way. Right. I think Eric's kind of like into that, though. Because she is, I mean, she's a fresh-looking female. Like, you, you, she might trick someone, but I mean, I don't know. I think Eric just kind of... I am not at all into that stupid shit, you idiot. Named after a fucking so you're telling me, Eric, you're going to stop following uh, the she-male? Yes. Hmm. Wow. I don't Are understand. Are you stop following all the other she-males, Eric? I think you follow one. I have no idea, you idiot named after a Muppet, if I'm following more than one. That's not my real name, Eric. Don't be me. Here, here, listen to this. Eric follows Pillsbury. <laughs> listen to this. <laughs> Oreos, Cold Stone Creamery, and Steak and Shake. Wow. wow. Yeah. A lot of shitty food places. <laughs> it's all like it's all like pits and and fast food restaurants and females. He's a real man, I got to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the female part. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Here's some more Eric tweets. Okay. Dumb fuck. For starters, I do not look like a turkey, nor do I look like a crab. Or really, other any other animal for that matter. <laughs> uh, no, I fucking do not have a fucking wooden leg, you pathetic dumb fuck. <laughs> I do not have any fucking wooden parts, dipshit. Look at the war you're in. Shut the fuck up, you pathetic dumb fuck. I am not going to fucking mentor anyone about their dicks. Fuck off, dipshit fucker. I wonder what that was about. <laughs> Mentoring about dicks? Yeah. Some dumb ass kept asking me if he should get circumcised or some stupid shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> For being a bully, Eric, you follow a lot of anti-bullying uh, Twitter. Hey, hey, mor hey, moron. I'm not a bully. I don't know. <laughs> You just call me a moron. <laughs> that sounds like a bully to me, Eric. I'm calling you exactly what you are. I didn't. I didn't use when hateful words shoe, like you did. When a shoe fit, get shit. Eric's like a following slut. He'll follow anyone who's got like a fast food restaurant or either food or cock. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the two criteria. I don't know. Eric, all right. No, well, if I'm running out of time, so what do you want to say? Well, this was not at all what I called. <laughs> for. I understand, but Gonzo was on the phone, and I saw you were there, so I picked up. I called because I have an issue again with my agent. So all right, all right, don't drag this out. What's uh, the issue with you and Johnny Frado quickly, and then we got to go? Well, my issue is the fact that over the weekend I declined to do the Eric Andre show on the uh, Adult Swim, and what Johnny did on Friday. Night. Right, I gotta oh, go. Man, we it's, can't. Eric, it's so much this. better when we pick the agenda Jack, for you. Can I do this for you? Yeah, go ahead. So. Eric Andre is a funny guy. He's got a show on Adult Swim, like a talk an show. Idiot. They offered uh, 
um, Eric to come to the live show and just be part of it. Mm. And um, he turned it down, so I think they gave it. So I think Jeff the Drunk's going to fly out and do it. Oh, so he what's the problem? Last, he did it last night. Okay, so? The, the problem is the guy is not funny. He's an idiot. I watched. Who? Er, uh, I think uh, Jeff the Drunk. Mm. No, I think no, he means the Eric host. Andre. Eric Andre. Eric Andre's Eric not Andre. funny? Yeah. No. Okay, all right. Well, thank you. I well, mean, so what? Who cares? Well, well how's that an agent problem? Well, Johnny answered a tweet saying the person asked if I turned it down because Eric Andre was black. No, I turned it down because right. Eric Andre is an idiot. Okay. okay. Thank you, Eric. Like Thanks for show. clearing that up. All right. Well, so Gonzo, thank Johnny you. Was, Johnny was calling mm -hmm. me racist. By All right. Hey, well, why don't you call Johnny, Johnny about that? Yeah, don't call me. What is? Can I just say one thing? Yeah. You know, Eric's looking for Eric's clearly looking for action to be in the in the business. So the guy, this guy Eric Andre, has a show on Adult Swim. He's been on a network show. He's got something going on. Yet Eric once again turns it down. Right. That's the bottom line. Eric has a strategy. Yep. Hey, Eric's only available you, for certain shows. <laughs> have right. you watched this show? He, I've never heard of it. Makes, the guy makes <laughs> Conan O'Brien and Jimmy Fallon and other idiot talk show hosts look like geniuses. How many, Eric, how many offers are you getting? Are the offers pouring in so that you can just turn down everything? No, and there's one that I haven't turned down, and... Everybody in the world seems to be taking their fucking sweet time to help me get it. And that's legit. What? <laughs> All right. The I, I, legit with Jim Jeffries on FXX. All right. I got to go. Thank you, Eric, and thank you, Gonzo. All right. You're welcome. Thank right. you, Eric. All right. Later, Later, Eric. Go fuck yourself, Gonzo. <laughs> Eric. All right, Gonzo. Thanks. Hey, Eric. Uh, no, okay. Thank uh, you, Dad. That's enough. It's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know some people don't like Eric. I do. I like hearing what's going on. That was hysterical. I had no idea who and what he followed. Right. <laughs> Olive Garden. <laughs> so you, yeah, who else? Like, I want to meet the other people who follow Cinnabon. Yeah, who are those other 100,000 They must people. work for the company. Let's hope. Yeah. It's probably mandatory that the rest of the people follow. I can't think of one reason why I'd follow Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Garden. Yeah. Unless they were giving out coupons. Cinnabon. Yeah. Wow. All right. Let me get back to my stuff here. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> All right. Last I left you, uh, uh, well, oh, I have to take a break. Okay. We'll come right back. Oh, my God. So much going on. Uh, oh, by the way, Eric, the actor. I'm going to mention this is tweeting again. Remember, he said last week we took Maybe a week off. Maybe Eric can take Paul Walker's place. Oh, here is Eric, actually. <laughs> yeah, Eric is an opening in the Fast and Furious franchise. I'd go see that. Now, if Eric was the star of Fast and Furious, I'd go see it. Uh, that Eric movie is a, bit, a little out of my ability. It's a little bit too physical. Well, that's what acting is. And that's what makes a great movie. When you take someone like you and put you in something ridiculous. That's right. Yeah. Believe me. Um, and, believe no, me. and I'll tell no you what this that, What? There's no way that someone like me could be in a Fast and the Furious movie. I can't. That's what I love about Eric. Not like when, possible. When Eric tweets, this is exactly what he tweets. <laughs> like he'll go... Like, like someone will write him. It's so brilliant. Some one of our listeners will write Eric on Twitter. Uh -huh. Hey, I heard you're going to be in the new. You're taking over in the Fast and Furious. <laughs> Instead of like Eric just not responding to right. that, he'll go. He'll have to have a discussion. Go, you dumb fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> that is out of my physical ability to be in the Fast and Furious movie. So listen to these tweets. Mm. Somebody must have written him that um, Eric. We heard you're going to kill Christmas. <laughs> now, so instead of like just saying that's ridiculous, get yeah, that dip, that dip shit that was on air a couple weeks ago, Gonzo. Yeah, came so up goes, with that bullshit. The guy's name is Gonzo Shitcock, <laughs> and then he goes, he goes. So Eric writes it back. He goes, all caps. 
Get a fucking life, you fucking pathetic dumb fuck. <laughs> I have no fucking plans of killing Christmas anywhere, you dipshit. <laughs> so then this guy, Lynch the Scammer, must have written <laughs> that Eric was was um, skiing, uh -huh. that he saw him at Big Bear skiing. <laughs> and you know, if you know anything about Eric, he ain't skiing anywhere. But he can't walk. So Eric writes him back. Dumb hyphen fuck, dumb fuck. I have never, ever skied once in my life. <laughs> also, dipshit, I am at home. I am not in Big Bear. Fuck off now. <laughs> These are the greatest tweets ever. Uh, okay, Gonzo Shitcock must have written that. He, you can write any absurd thing to Eric and he'll respond. He goes, we heard you... Um, sell Mary Kay cosmetics. <laughs> and there it goes. Bullshit. Grow up, you pathetic, sad, immature, dumb fuck. I've never sold fucking Mary Kay or any other women's products. And then it goes on and on, like someone accused him of being a vegan and eating gluten-free food. Yeah. And that set Eric off. <laughs> you pathetic, immature ass. No, no, no. You're, uh, it's, he's, he goes, I have never been a vegan or eaten gluten-free food. And I, I got some of those, you know, because apparently I was mentioned in some of the follow-up <laughs> tweets. So no. I saw a little bit of Eric. People were taunting, why don't you would want to admit you're a vegan? <laughs> oh, it's unbelievable. And it drives Eric mad. And it's like you want to say, Eric, what do you care? It's just like, Eric, what do you care? I hate it being said about me. Well, the more well, you well, respond to it, Eric, the more it's going to happen. Well, the thing they really, like this guy Gonzo Shitcock really, really worked, Eric, about the vegan thing. Because then he writes, I am not a vegan. I eat ham, fried chicken, <laughs> fried fish, fish, and bacon as much as I can. As much as I can, mind you. I do not have any cookbooks. Because he was upset that, that now Eric was going to have a vegan cookbook. Right. And then I guess somebody said that he that Eric bangs whores, which he did bang a whore at the Bunny Ranch. And then Eric goes, a few I, of them. Eric goes, I have banged whores. You have that one right, but I had never, but I have never once taken a shit on anyone's fucking lawn. That is bullshit. <laughs> so it, whatever you write, like you go, hey Eric, we heard you shit on someone's lawn. He'll write you back. Right. I thought he was only responding to nice ones. Uh, his. Uh followers or so, something. I forget what he said. Yeah, how, how does this guy get through to you, Eric? You banned him, right? I mean, you blocked him. I I can't figure it out because Twitter's <laughs> got a, a malfunction that uh, somehow that idiot and other idiots that I have blocked still were able to hmm. speak to me. Twitter geniuses are after Eric. So then, um, Gonzo Shidcock. Yeah, is... Ever since last, last Monday when I made some comments on John's show about how poorly the site is. How poorly the site is? Yeah, the Twitter. Eric's upset because you can't block anyone because they somehow <laughs> get back to well, him. <laughs> like he, he blocked Gonzo well, Shidcock and Gonzo Shidcock wrote him. And then it's like, and then again, he said he accused Eric of trying to stop Christmas, and then Eric goes, "I am not trying to fucking do anything to stop Christmas." <laughs> <laughs> Eric, why would you respond to the guy? There's no way anyone thinks you're stopping Christmas. How could you stop Christmas anyway? I don't know. Do you think that word will get out there and people will start to believe it? That's his fear that Eric. They'll get around that Eric's trying to stop Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then some, and then I guess someone um, accused them. Then you know, because Eric was with Air Force Amy at the uh, chicken, right. chicken Bunny Ranch, whatever that is. The Hawk Ranch. The Bunny Ranch. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Chicken Ranch. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, Eric Dennis didn't own that one. Yeah. So this guy's name is sixty nine. Did not happen. And his whole thing is saying he's claiming that Eric is a liar that he did in sixty nine with Air Force Amy. Uh huh. And then he goes. Yes, I did fucking 69 Air Force Amy, <laughs> you pathetic dumb fuck. I'm not fucking bullshitting about it. Fuck off now. That's crazy. <laughs> Eric, you really have to find something to do with your time. And then uh, Eric was uh, denouncing uh, the fake Fred Norris Twitter account. And the uh, fake Fred Norris started tweeting Eric. It's a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> so 
somehow your your situation, whatever you did, isn't working. Why do why Eric? Why do you follow Bank of America? By the way, because it's the bank that I have an account with. Yeah, and what are you doing? Like just monitoring their fee to see if there's any specials or something. Yeah. Hmm. So how's that working out? I don't know really. Like, does anything good <laughs> come of that of following them? Like, did they ever give away free money or? Did they have any, I mean, you know, he's probably following them and nothing. Nothing good, is, good has come of it. Yeah, the only thing good that's come of Eric's tweets. Are uh, Sal and Richard taking them and then turning them into phony phone calls when I read them, which is uh, always entertaining. Oh, dumb fuck! I am not gay. What? I have never fucked you or any other guy in my life. Ah, uh, somebody fucking ah. said something fucking stupid. I don't remember none of that shit. Let me make something fucking crystal fucking clear. I do not have any STDs and I am not a midget. I definitely didn't know. I never said not one of them motherfucking things. Not one goddamn thing. I don't know. I don't know fucking where and how all this shit come from, but I definitely didn't fucking do none of that or say none of that. Shut the fuck up, you fucking pathetic dipshit. I do not have tits. What in the fuck are you talking about? Dumb fuck. I do not have any cum on my glasses, and I never have. <laughs> I ain't even said that. I don't know who the fuck you was talking to. Somebody gave you a wrong name or number on that shit. Because motherfucking, I know I didn't fucking say none of that weird shit. I don't even fucking talk that shit. I have never once ever crapped myself at an age game. Well, stop me pulling that fucking leg, dude, because I don't know who the fuck say dirty shit like that, man. Look, dumb fuck, I am neither a Jewish person nor am I a fucking stalker. Fucking Jewish stalker. What the fuck is that? A Jewish stalker. I ain't going to hear that stupid shit. Dumb fuck. I have never once cheated on my fucking taxes. Go fuck yourself and go to hell, fuckhead. Uh, how in the fuck am I going to know somebody did something like that anyway? <laughs> fucking what the fuck? Uh, cheat on taxes. I have never taken a shit on any lawn at all. Yeah, you know, that's all fucking bunch of bullshit there. Whoever fuck gave you that fucking info, I'd be going back and talk to them cocksuckers because somebody's done running their fucking mouth the wrong way, dude. You miserable ass. I don't have to look out for gravy because I do not look like a Thanksgiving turkey, so <laughs> shut the fuck up. I'm reporting you to Twitter. I don't give a fuck. Fuck off, you dumb fuck. I am fuck not off, fucking fuck. gay. I am not a prostitute, and I am not getting fucking married. Fuck off, you dumb fuck. What the fuck? Fuck you, dumb motherfucker. Fuck you, bump the fucking head again. Dumb fuck. I do not have one fucking pubic hair from anyone at all. I do not collect shit like that. You know? I do not want to make love to Charlie Sheen, jackass. No, you bumping your head, dude. I'm just going to hang up the phone. I'm hearing the stupid shit. Fuck off now. I can't believe this guy stayed on the phone that long. Well, doesn't he realize he doesn't even know who he's talking to? No. Doesn't matter. He's going to stay. You know, that's got to be the loneliest guy on the planet. Dumb fuck. <laughs> uh, it'd be so great if I could get Bank of America to start writing to Eric that he's trying to destroy Christmas. <laughs> and then he gets into a war. All right, Eric, I got to go anyway. Well, wait a minute. The main reason, the main reason why I called. Quickly. It's because I wanted to give an update on Rick Nicky taping out my jet. It was supposed to be today and tomorrow, but as soon as I told the producer guy that you guys weren't going to be live on air last week, he asked to, if we could change it to Wednesday and Thursday. Okay, good, cool. All right, thanks for letting us know. Bye. Bye. Okay, Eric, thank you. No idea. He's, he, what he, in the he, world is he talking? He about? finally had his time to promote whatever he was promoting, and the phone fucked up. <laughs> the guy's got no luck. <laughs> well, this is Gonzo dumb fuck. <laughs> hey, hey uh, Gary, I just get, hung up on Eric. Can you get him get back? Get Eric back. <laughs> is that you, Gonzo? Yeah. Hey, what's up, Howard? Hey, man. It's me. Oh my God! The funniest Twitter exchange ever between you and Eric. Yeah, Eric. Yeah, he's been bullying me, man, on Twitter a lot. Bullying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, he's... I try to be his friend, and he's, everything's like, fuck you, and <laughs> fuck my dick, you dumb shit. I'm just asking about... I've heard rumors on the Internet, and I'm just trying to get clarification. Yeah, Gonzo, uh, what have you heard? Eric's trying to destroy Christmas, huh? Yeah, I heard he was trying to destroy Christmas in Sacramento, Fresno, and L.A. Well, let me see oh. if I can get him back and, on. Uh, hey, Gary, you got any luck? Hold on a second. Yeah, okay, good. So maybe there's some substance to this. Yeah, maybe Gonzo yeah. has something. And uh, he's a vegan now. He has a vegan cookbook. He's gluten free. Yeah, he, and, uh, Gonzo, Gonzo, you know, Gon, when Gonzo wrote him and said, 
you're gluten free and you have a cookbook. I thought for sure, like like Eric would just blow that off. Right. You couldn't even blow that. Like they, that is the most innocuous, insane thing. It's just, it's just, it's ridiculous. <laughs> well, even just saying I'm a, he's a vegan. I am not, yeah, I, nor have I ever been. Wait, hold on. Okay. Hey, Eric. Eric. Yes. I tracked down this guy who's been torturing you, Gonzo. He's right here now. Hey, I'm not dumb dumb fuck. I just wanted to clarify. Hey, dumb fuck. <laughs> Gonzo, Gonzo seems to be indicating Eric, and I wanted to give you a chance to respond. Gonzo, tell us about this plot that Eric has to destroy Christmas in Sacramento. Go ahead. Well, Good Day Sacramento reported that Eric had a plot to uh, destroy Christmas in three major cities, in fact, in California. And one was Fresno, and one was Sacramento, and one was L.A. And um, I was just asking Eric about the reports. I wasn't, I wasn't claiming that he was trying to kill Christmas. I just heard that Eric, he was trying to kill Christmas. This guy Gonzo seems to have seen this on the news. Yeah, and then he attacked me. I was like, I was just, I was like, dude, I'm just, you know, reporting the rumors. So I don't, I don't. How do you respond, Eric? What's up, Eric? Grow, grow the fuck up, you image for <laughs> sack of shit. Good day, sack. Meno doesn't report shit about me. And how the fuck do you know? You probably don't even live here. Well, that's what I heard. Somebody told me on the internet. So, and then I also heard like that you're vegan, gluten free, and um, you might be second cousins with Naomi Campbell. So, wow. I was just, I was just tweeting you, find, trying to find out. Yeah. And then, when did you become gluten free, Eric? Never. He has a he has a, a, a recipe cookbook. Is that wow. right? Yeah, and that's why oh, I, I tweeted about it. Well, let Eric respond. Go ahead, Eric. Okay. No, I don't, you idiot. The only book I have is the one that still is yet to be published, the Dougie the Huggy. I haven't Dougie written the, any Dougie cookbook. The Huggy vegan? No. Yeah, maybe that was it. Dougie yeah. the Puggy is probably vegan. Yeah, that was, that was what I heard. Yeah, Dougie the Puggy is gluten-free and vegan. Yeah, vegan. <laughs> no, that works. Uh, most dogs can, probably are vegan. A, can, a canine that is a vegan. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. <laughs> well, it would be interesting to publishers, I think. Was there a book about Dougie the Puggy trying to destroy Christmas? Because maybe that's how that got started. I didn't read that, Howard, but that, that might be true. I have to do some more research on, on Gonzo, that. Gonzo, what, what were you writing about that Eric, you, be, you believe that Eric was lost in the Congo? What was that about? Uh, no, there was a, there, I was worried. There was a report that Eric was missing in the Congo um, during an acting trip. And um, I tweeted to Les Stroud and Les Stroud. Uh, I let Eric respond to that, Eric. Do you ever think of the idea that there may be more than one actor named Eric Lynch? No, you're the only, you're Eric the actor, Eric. Like, why, why would I believe that? You're the... Because it was a, the Eric it was a, it was an action stunt movie. Yeah, Gonzo. Think logical, you dipshit. No. I can't do that kind you're, of... Uh, I, I don't know, Eric calls me a dipshit. No, I don't know why. I mean, you're just trying to clear yeah, things he's up. he's just asking questions. Yeah. He's just a fan, Eric. Uh, Gonzo, tell me, when Eric blocks you, how do you get back on Eric's account? I don't know. I just, like, w one day he all of a sudden was writing all this really uh, bullying stuff to everyone. And um, I saw that he was writing again, so I, I immediately tweeted him out. And I was like, hey, it's your friend Gonzo. And um, he wrote back some really mean stuff. And <laughs> So You're not a know, friend. Like out of nowhere, he just—I think he—I think he made his account um, like un, unprivatized. Yeah, well, uh, so. uh, it sounds to me like you are a fan, but uh, somehow uh, Eric's been bullying you. Yeah, he's like he was like like if 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 like one if you bullied your fans, Howard, it's like you had, hmm. you had fans that loved you and said, "Hey, good job on the show, Howard," and you tweeted back and said, "Go fuck yourself." You <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of starting yeah. to uh, write. Maybe maybe I'm, maybe I'm maybe I'm a glutton for punishment, but it's. Uh, uh, I just like I just like interacting with you. Him. know, Gonzo, I value he, my fans. I don't know what Eric's up to. Yeah, even though he's mean to me, I, I still love him. And, Do you want to uh, file? I was a really worried. Are you going to file a formal complaint with uh, Twitter? No, I don't want to press charges. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay. All right, but uh, yeah, I was worried about you, Eric when you were missing in the Congo. I was I was afraid that that you know we we lost you for good. So, Eric, you uh, Eric, I repeat, you were not missing in the Congo. Am I correct? <laughs> right. All right. All right, Eric Gonzo. Thank you. I'm. Thank you for clearing it up, well, Eric uh, Gonzo. The only, uh, the only other country I've ever been to in my life is Canada. Right. 
Were you missing in Canada? No, no. He wasn't missing anyway. Everyone knew where he was. <laughs> All right, Gonzo, thank you for clearing that up. Eric, thank you for clearing it up. Thank you, Howard. All right. Thank you, Robin. Bye-bye. Eric the actor and Gonzo. Uh, Is that a term of endearment with Eric, dumb fuck? <laughs> no. No, he's pissed. He I, calls all of his fans dumb fuck. I'm going to tweet Eric today and say, weren't you gluten-free in Canada? <laughs> when you visited Canada, someone told me you were gluten-free. A vegan. A, ve- a gluten-free vegan. <laughs> and you were riding Dougie the Puggy. All right, I tell you what, let me take a break here. We'll come back. I have so much to get to. All right, all right, all right, okay. Eric, uh, the actor, is on the phone. Hey, what is this uh, guy Gonzo says that, uh, Eric, he says that you're harassing him. I'm not harassing that dumb fuck. Gonzo, what's uh, the story here? Hey, what's up, Howard? Um, now, Eric's been, like, direct messaging me, like, really, uh, really mean stuff, like, over and over, like, basically harassing. What does he say? Um, like, fuck off now, you pathetic dipshit. Um, get a fucking life. Uh, he said he's... Yeah, because, like, I heard some, some, like, stuff that he was, uh... He was in jail and stuff. Yeah. And I was just... <laughs> I was You're just, worried? <laughs> Shut yeah. the fuck up, idiot. I've never and, even been arrested once in my life, you dumb sack of shit. And there's like a compa- Stop uh, with campaign. Stop your fucking bullshit, you pathetic dipshit. Well, there was Every a compa- fucking thing you say about me is nothing but... Bullshit. And there was, there was a campaign to, uh... For a little dumb fuck. Grow up. Well, there was... What about Grow the campaign to, the to, save your, to save your butthole, Eric? There was a has, hashtag save Eric's butthole. And <laughs> Eric, that's what, that's what got Eric you, upset about. You made it up, you retard. You no, made it the fuck up. No, Eric, you I was really your support. Give it for a little dumb fuck that needs to grow the fuck up. You're the one that's messaging me. Is, I'm not even messaging you. There, there is no fucking truth to anything that you say. Why are you uh, messaging? Uh, why are you messaging Gonzo, Eric? Because he's making up a pathetic bullshit about me. There's nothing the fuck that is ever happening to my butthole. Then why are you? Uh, then why are you? Uh, why would you direct message him? It's brain that came up with it. Hmm. Yeah, and I wasn't even the one that came up with it. I already was just like I just um, that hashtag was like in some of the messages that I put, but I wasn't even the one that wrote that. And Eric's taking oh, the pressure out on me. It's kind of unfair. Bullshit. <laughs> so, well, I know Eric can hold you responsible for these butthole hashtags, which are obviously yeah, embarrassing. Well, I'm just trying to help Eric and, um, you know, make sure that he's okay. Drop he never... dead. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Eric, that's pretty harsh. Well, Gonzo, is there something you want to say to Eric? Uh, that you try to tell him that you're helping him as rather than hurting him? You're... You're not helping me one little fuck and bit, you little shit. Well, let's see, I just, I don't know. Eric's just, he, he always has this aggressive attitude towards me, and I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't get it. Like, you're I've never... an idiot. How many and hours a day a do you guys direct message each other, would you say? Well, he doesn't let me direct message him because he doesn't follow me, so only, it's kind of unfair because only he can send this, like, vicious stuff towards me. Oh, because it's you follow a him. one way Yeah, team. so I can't even, I can't yeah. even defend myself. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of fucked up. Fuck ass, not even default to me. I have him blocked, but there's some fucking little trick, this little shit, <laughs> doing it, still allowing him to follow me. Gonzo, is that right? Is there a trick so that you can follow Eric? He blocked you. Nah, I think Eric's just uh, living in his own head because that's uh, oh, not true. She yeah. just wants me. You want me to follow you, Eric? No, I don't. You. Will I think fuck. he likes the he likes the attention. Gonzo, Eric, how many guys? Gonzo, I'm curious. How, what do you do for a living that you have time to fuck around with Eric? Uh, I work for. Um, well, I have a normal job, but right. I don't want to say. <laughs> but uh, I just, you know. So, like, uh, it's, it's like an eight to five job. Eight to five, but there's a lot of uh, time spent with Eric, right? No, not really. No. I mean, Eric it's... spends way more time on on us than I think we do on him. Are you going to report him to Twitter for harassing you? 
No, no. Because I like Eric, but Eric just he has some vendetta against me that I don't I don't get. I just was hoping that we could uh, you know like make a truce and amends. Well, what about that, Eric Gonzo offering the peace pipe, so to speak? Yeah, because I hate when Eric. You're not going to make a peace with him. Fuck no. Well, my him, and others, him and others have also been harassed in my family. Yeah, I think, no, I was, I, I, that's one thing I didn't do. I didn't do that, Eric. Oh, I swear to God, but I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Gonzo Stern on Facebook. Gonzo that's Stern. Not, that, that's not me, Eric, dummy. Like, why would I? <laughs> just Gonzo. because I use my name doesn't mean that that's me. So you're not Gonzo Stern. No, no. The only one I am is, is Gonzo Shitcock on Twitter. I don't even have uh, Facebook. You're Gonzo Shitcock. Yeah, <laughs> and I even told when Eric had his little heart problem, I told people to stop, uh, to stop messing with him. Well, that's nice, Eric. Gonzo Shitcock said that uh, you should not be harassed because of your heart problem. That's very yeah. nice. Yeah, I think maybe... Yeah, and then he still does it. No, I took a hiatus for a week. Well, that was nice. Yeah, and I don't even say mean things to you, Eric. I just say, like, you know... Like, hope Eric's doing okay. Hope he's not in jail. You know, it's funny that uh, Jeff the Drunk is on the other line saying that Eric is an asshole, but so is Gonzo. Mm. What, what do you, where do you, how do you get involved in this, Jeff? How do you know about it? Um, no, Gonzo, you should tweet me in two. <laughs> oh. Hey, that's Jeff. And Gonzo's a douchebag. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's okay, because Eric's a fucking asshole. What did I say to you? Oh, fuck him, Go bro. drink your liver to... Oh, uh, God, fuck your little asshole. <laughs> You're a little fucking buddy All right. Well, there it is, Jeff. Thank you for weighing in on this. Eric and Gonzo, obviously, uh, the peace pipe has been put out there. The dove has been, you know, flying, but uh, it looks like it's not going to happen. Uh, Eric refuses to make peace with Gonzo. He says too much. Oh, sorry. Well, he I'll says too much has gone down. That's all. Yeah, I just think it's kind of hypocritical of Eric to, uh, you know, say all this really mean stuff to me when he has that blog on uh, howardstern.com about, you know, tolerance. It's kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of ironic. And by the way, Gonzo Shitcock is not Gonzo Stern, for those of you on Facebook. Yes. <laughs> all right. All right, boys. Well, thank you, wow. Eric. Thank you, Gonzo. Uh, thank, you, Eric. thank you, Eric. Sorry it didn't work out. Okay, Eric? Please. Please don't drop my call. I have, I, I, I have allotted five or six minutes to this segment. Uh, I think you've had enough time, no? I just wasn't even what I called the fuck in for. What did you call in for? To give you some information on you know, what you were talking to Adam about yesterday. A lot of times you like to go back to yesterday's show. It's so long ago I, that I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, who's talking. Adam? <laughs> yeah, who is Adam? Carolla, oh, Adam Carolla. Oh, Adam Carolla. Oh, and 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 what was it, what what is the information? Well, you guys were talking about shower head heights <laughs> in hotels. Yes, I would like to see the shower head heights raised in hotels. Well, I know when it is a hotel ex. You can talk to it. Oh, all right. Well, that's okay. It, 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 there's not much expertise required. We just want the, the shower heads raised. Well, maybe he can tell you why. Mm, that's okay. It's, I'm not that. Fat. Okay. All right, Eric, thank you. Gonzo, thank you. And uh, I hope you guys work. <laughs> we, Eric, will you, will you direct message Gonzo right after this phone call? Fuck no. All right. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I still have hope that me and Eric can, uh, can patch things up because uh, I don't. I don't Shut up, ass wife! I'm trying to talk. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm already so, so. It's angry. very mean. Yeah. It's abusive. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's. I'm, it's. I don't know. I'm. Uh, I'm getting cyberbullied every day. I'm sorry. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's rough. It's not fun to be cyberbullied. And that's part I of didn't know that team, Eric was a bully. That's a yeah. shame. All right, well, he, Eric. Eric is claiting he's fighting back. So. Yeah, well, he's the, only, he's the only one fighting this battle. It's a one-way. Shut up, asshole. Let me finish saying what I want to say before okay, I get hung up on. Okay, go ahead, sir. Also, last <laughs> week, did you see Jimmy Suit of the Loom? Jimmy Fruit of the Loom? No. Hey, no. Suit of the Loom. Suit of the, yes, I did. It was fabulous. All right, Eric, I got to go. 
I I posted the links on my Facebook account to try to help his charity. Yeah, it's a good charity. Uh, Jimmy was moved. I saw the whole piece. It was very, very emotional. All right, Eric. Thank you, and Gonzo, thank you. All right, thank you, Eric. Thank you, Eric. Later, guys. Uh, Bye. 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 All right, there you go. It's uh, Gonzo and Eric. They uh, they can't work it out, Robin. Sorry. <laughs> it's just like the Middle East. <laughs> it's like the Ukraine and Russia. <laughs> yes, Gonzo Shitcock. Is this Gonzo Shitcock? Yeah, hey, what's up, Eric? Hey, what's happening? Uh, nothing much. You still involved with Eric the actor? Uh, yeah, a little bit. He's, uh... uh yeah. Somewhere. I can't figure that kid out. We asked him to take a... Sal called him and asked him to take a selfie. Did I play this for you yesterday, Robin? No. Yeah, Sal called Eric and said, Eric, would you take a selfie? And Eric went berserk, like, would not take a selfie. So weird what Eric will do and what he won't do. Yeah. Here, listen. Hey, Eric. It's Sal from the Stern Show. So we have this new feature on, the, on our website. It's called Whack Pack Selfies. And we were wondering, would you take a few selfies of yourself uh, dressed up in different outfits? And uh, we would put them up on our website on HowardStern.com. No. Why not? <laughs> Just not interested. It'll be so much fun. No, not interested. Why? So, just take the words not interested. But uh, we thought it would be fun, and, you know, I think the more attention you get, the more uh, chances you'll get of getting those Amazon uh, gifts on your wish list. So, yes. I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to hang up. I am not interested. So does that mean there's a chance you might do it? <laughs> wow. Are you still writing Eric on um, Twitter? Uh, yeah, somewhat. He's not really. He doesn't really write back to me though. Very much. He's uh, he's denying or he's refusing to do the contest. So kind of bummed about that. What that contest? Fun. The the uh, read the uh, snap battle. Remember the five thousand dollars thing? Yeah, they were supposed to have sort of a face off and insult oh, each yeah. other. And that's something. I was yeah. going to do this cool little uh, battle of wits between Gonzo Shitcock and uh, Eric. Yeah, I told him I'd give him all my information, like my FICO score and stuff, but he wouldn't. He doesn't want to do it. We actually already moved on, Howard. Is that right? Yeah, we're on to the next set of people. Wow. Uh, what a shame. I'm sure you could have used the money. Yeah, it's taking food out of my mouth, but. That's, it's cool, but um, Eric's yeah, thing yeah. now is people are um, people are like busting his balls because they're telling him every show that he goes on, he kills off the show, like, <laughs> and it drives him crazy. He goes, "No, I'm not killing the show." He just was on legit, and legit announced they're canceled almost immediately after his appearance. Yeah, <laughs> and then every show that he's been on so far has been canceled <laughs> and so if you just say to eric wow i can't believe you killed off another show he goes berserk it's uh it's something did you, else did you see he put another uh, hit out on uh, twitter no uh, johnny well he, he like text message johnny frado to uh there's this guy cactus matt i guess was kind of uh, harassing him and um he told johnny that he wants him to sleep with the fishes wow <laughs> <laughs> or swim with the fishes, so maybe he might... Swim with the fishes? Yeah. So, so maybe, maybe he doesn't want him dead, he just wants him swimming with fishes. He just wants him down in the ocean. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just put him in the ocean, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so great. Uh, yeah. I haven't heard from Eric. I think he's all shook up that legit got canceled. That people are busting his little balls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Eric, the TV show killer, he's got carrot-colored hair. Every TV show he goes on ends up going off the air. In plain sight got canceled, fringe and American dreams. Now FX has killed off legit, and he was only in one scene. If you want that tiny man to be on your TV show, you're playing with dynamite with Eric 
your show might be gone by tonight. Listen up, all you producers. We know you have some empathy. But if you cast Eric the actor, your TV show will be his story. It's a nice one. Eric the actor appeared on Legit and it was canceled within a few weeks. He's a show killing freak. Every show. These songs are making him nuts. <laughs> it's Eli Braden. <laughs> yeah, he's going crazy too because he thinks like I'm everybody that like if anybody on Twitter says shit about him, he, he just automatically assumes it's me. He is like, yeah. he's 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 going crazy. So like be like anyone that says anything, he just immediately assumes that it's me. And there's like a bunch of uh, different Gonzo accounts and people are writing shit to him on there. And he thinks that it's me. Yeah, well, that's he's really. Sure. I mean, you can build your whole life around uh, Eric uh, Gonzo. Uh, yes, Matt. What do you want to say to Gonzo and, and me? Oh, hey, how's it going, guys? How's it going, Gonzo? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, yeah, um, so, Howard, a few months ago, I was contacted by Eric so that uh, I could build him an official fan club website. Right. And I agreed to do it for free and stuff, and ever since then, I've just been getting, like, harassing emails from him. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> He wants it done quickly, huh? Yeah, well, I mean, it's up and running and stuff, but uh, it, nothing's ever good enough for him. And, and uh, so then he says, like, I don't ever get an email from him that doesn't begin with, like, look dipshit or something, you know? <laughs> and uh, so then I saw that he had put that hit out on me or, or wanted to take me swimming or whatever it was he wanted to do. Right, right. And uh, so I didn't know if I needed to be worried about that or not. But Well, I don't think you have to worry about it, but, but Eric's turned into an Internet bully. He really has. He, he thinks that me and Matt are the same uh, person, too, so hopefully he'll hear this and um, <laughs> this, will, this will prove to him that we're not. Eric, the TV show killer. <laughs> <laughs> Do you work on a TV show? And are you sick and tired of your job, hoping that your show will be canceled soon? Had enough, and I want out! If so, then we recommend that you put Eric the Actor in your show. Hey, shut up! Eric has a proven track record of getting shows canceled, and will almost certainly get your show canceled within weeks of airing his episode. Shut the fuck up! So, hire Eric the Actor, and get your TV show canceled today. Shut the fuck up! Love that. All right, boys. Well, if I hear from Eric, I'll uh, t I'll send you regards and tell him that you're right. two separate people, okay? Yeah, thank you. All right. Come and say hi. Yeah, and I, I'm sorry you guys are getting bullied by Eric. It's, I'm used to it right now. All right. Matt, sorry right. you, you had a uh, threat put out on your life. I'll deal with it. Okay, Matt. Bye. Thanks, Eric. Imagine that guy, Matt, gave him a free website and Eric's after him. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Makes you a little leery of doing something nice, right? Yeah, I guess so. Wait, here's Eric. Hey, Eric. I wish those guys were on. That guy, Matt, made you a website and you're busting his balls? It's a shitty, stupid website that is just nothing but poked and fun at me like every other asshole does. Oh. In other words, it's a negative website. Yes, and he likes to claim that it's not, but I know it is. You, in other words, you said to him, "Hey, could you put together a website for me?" And he agreed, and then he no, made it. No, no, he he did it all on his own. I didn't oh. ever even ask him. See, Robin, there's two sides to every story. Always, and, and we shouldn't way, rush to judgment. By Eric, way, what about this rap you're getting? That you're a show killer. That you literally kill shows. What the hell is wrong with you? How many damn times do I have to tell you how full of shit that is? Well, I, I mean, I'm saying, how, I'm saying people how, are saying it. I'm not. How am I a show killer when a show that I was on that isn't on anymore lasted two whole seasons after I was on it? I guess because people see those shows going off the air, they assume that you go on and it's bad. It was on for two whole seasons after. Not only that, in plain sight, when we were doing the negotiations, that was already decided to be its final season. So regardless if I was on it or not, 
it would have been canceled. And finally, why won't you take selfies? Uh, Sal called up and said, why don't you take a few selfies? What, what have you got against that? I was not into that whole thing. But what if somebody else took the picture of you? Not, in, not interested. Hmm. wonder why I can't seem to get to the bottom of this. No. What's the objection to selfies? You have pictures taken, right? Right. I've, yes. seen, I've seen pictures of you, so what's the big deal? Sal says, hey, send us a few selfies, and you get crazy. Well, part of it was because he... I was trying to sleep, and he woke me the fuck up. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he just wants you to take a few pictures of yourself. Big deal. I mean, I don't he see... was just in a bad mood about it at that time. All right, well, reconsider it. All right, well, Erica is here well, to say... Well, yes. hold on. You guys owe me an apology for the bullshit you said yesterday. What was that? What did we say? I sent Gary the proof in his email box that I have not tweeted at all since April the 8th. And you guys were claiming that I have tweeted about my wish list and also the other bullshit you said that I was yelling at people on Twitter about the whole legit thing. My last tweet was to Jerry O'Connell on April the 8th, 2014. I, I, maybe there's a point. bunch of guys who tweet as you, but I, I mean, I don't have that much time to investigate, but it seemed like there was a lot of Twitter action. Maybe it's not you. I don't know. It seems like it's well, you. To me, it, Oh, it's hard to know, Robin. There's a lot of Eric the Actor type <laughs> accounts out there. And Everybody's I impersonating Eric. Yeah. If Eric was verified, then I'd know it was him. But he's not. Well, right, right on my profile page, it says that I retired from publicly tweeting and that there's nothing or that no one can get me to break my retirement. So any tweet that you see dated past April 6th, Eight. So you're not tweeting it's anymore? No. Just right. Peace and love. You're just doing private tweets? Yes. All right. He is retired from general tweeting. Got it. Which, if you guys follow me, I could direct message with no. you. No. <laughs> uh, that's okay. I'm not looking for any direct... You know what? I don't like Twitter uh, for that reason. I like it when you just like follow like you know people I really just want to learn from or something. Like, well, a, like a photographer was... or CNN or, you know, or news service, right. something like that. I'm not into having conversation on there. Well, what I was thinking was because the fact that I'm not going to be calling in much, I could give you you updates yourself. No, no, that's okay. How I'm doing. Just do it on the phone, then that's fine, whenever you can. All right, Eric, thank you. Bye. Okay. Right. Bye. Later. All right. That clears everything up, Robin. Now you know. <laughs> All right. Eric All hasn't right. tweeted since April. Right. You didn't know that, and you were sending out <laughs> bad information. Uh, All right. Let's go. Uh, Gonzo Shitcock. Hi, Gonzo. Hey, what's up, Art? Hey. Hey, man. Um, yeah, I was calling because uh, I, I just want to talk about my Amazon wish list. I made like an Amazon wish list, and um, <laughs> Eric the oh, Actor is trying to get it shut down. You made an uh, Amazon wish list, and Eric the Actor is trying to shut it down? Yeah, he like doesn't want me to have it up at all, and he's like, uh, he's kind of being an asshole. Like he was, he doesn't want me to have any. Uh, what is his theory there? that you are trying to take money or funds away from his Amazon wish list? I guess so. Yeah, he like, and he he he's um he's saying he wants to unblock me. So one of the terms of him unblocking me on Twitter is that I uh, shut down my Amazon wish list. So, Why would your Amazon well, wish list ha be a problem for him? Because it's I don't know. Because yeah, his Amazon yeah. wish list is goofing on Eric's, and Eric's freaking out <laughs> because it was Eric's idea, and now Gonzo's taking it. And so it's freaking him out, and Eric's imagining that uh, somehow this is going to undermine his wish list. Yeah, well, Eric's wish list is like $2 million worth of stuff. Mine's only like 200 at tops. And, you know, I, th so I, I respect yeah. that, Gonzo. Yeah, it's very conservative. It's very, you know, it's not really, you know, I'm not trying to uh, put anybody in the poorhouse. I'm just trying to, you know. How funny is Eric's yeah. war with Gonzo Shitcock? Like now, they're, oh, now it's almost like the Obama administration trying to negotiate with the terrorists for the release of hostages. Because 
Eric Eric's is offering say, conditions. Yeah, Eric's, Eric's actually laying down some conditions. Like, hey, get rid of your Amazon wish list, and I'll reinstate you on my Twitter. Yeah, he's willing to negotiate, which is uh, it's a, that's a big step because before he said he would never unblock me. But does all of this no. kinds of does this all go on on Twitter, or do you speak to him off the you know off of Twitter? Well, we talked on the phone last weekend. Like we we talk on the phone, we email because he he stopped tweet, he he stopped tweeting. So it's kind of funny because like he like um, he refuses to tweet now, so that forces him to actually like call me on the phone and like email me and stuff. Now, why did he? So, that, so what, <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's crazy. Yeah. So you talk. How often do you speak with him? Um, I only talk to him once on the phone, and then like we email probably like once every um, other day. Now, is he belligerent or is he really trying to negotiate a peace? It depends on the day. Sometimes he'll be like really cool. Sometimes he'll be like. Um, sometimes, like we got yesterday, he emailed me. He was like, "Fuck you, Gonzo. Don't ever fucking talk to me again." Because um, you know I'm not I'm not going to A's games with you, and you don't live at my house, like <laughs> randomly. Like I guess somebody told him like I li like I was saying that I live at his house and stuff. Right. So he's I don't know. He he believes whatever people tell him. So it's kind of a. Uh, it's weird. Like you you could say to Eric, hey Eric, I live at your house, and then he'll write, you do not live at my house. Well, no. Somebody else is like they they make like a fake Gonzo account and they say, hey Eric, um, I live at your house. Wow, and that's and that's all. Yeah, yeah, or they're like, hey, go on, hey, Eric, we went to the A's game together. He's like, we did not go to the fucking A's game together. Because I actually, I actually live in Sacramento like Eric does. Jed, wouldn't you, so, Robin, wouldn't you love to hear the negotiation between Eric and Gonzo about the Amazon yeah. list? <laughs> yeah, oh, we, we, yeah. Had, we had a nice, like, 20-minute uh, conversation last week about um, unblocking and the conditions and stuff. So what? So what, let me see. Hey, Gary, can you get Eric on the phone real quick? Maybe we could listen into this uh, negotiation. Okay, let's call. Yeah, this could be good. Yeah, so like he, wants, doing. he said he'll unblock me, but he can't. Um, like anybody that um, tweets my handle, Gonzo Shikuk, they um, if they say anything about him being um, the M word, the mid a midget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or if they like uh, they call him ungrateful, then I I have to uh, pay a fine to the. Oh really? Uh, oh. Yeah, the Little People Association, or the Ehlers Danlos Foundation, which is his uh, affliction. Right. So it's uh, it's it's very. You'd have to be responsible for everyone. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to be paying millions and millions of dollars. But, uh, I mean, there's a lot of people talking a lot of shit about Eric. Did you tell Eric that there's no? Did you tell Eric you can only be responsible for your own Twitter account that you can't possibly regulate what other people are saying? No, I got I got too excited, Howard, when he said that he was going to block me. So I, I agreed to it. <laughs> I might I might be uh, I might be in the poorhouse. I might. Uh, are you unblocked? Uh, no, not yet. I, did, I was hoping maybe we can talk to Eric and uh, try to get him to unblock me. Did you promise not to live at his house? <laughs> no, I can't promise that. Right. But, but yeah, no, I, I don't know. So, um, so yeah. Do you, Robin, don't you think Gonzo uh, makes a good point here that isn't Eric playing with fire by negotiating with Gonzo and... <laughs> you know well, I mean? they I'm say a... you never negotiate, right. and so I'm he's a, opened a, the door. I mean, I'm a me... Twitter terrorist. So. Let me ask Eric that question. I see he's on the line. Hi, Eric. Good morning. Good morning. I'm concerned. Gonzo Shitcock's on here saying that you're negotiating with him, and this reminds me of what President Obama has just done by negotiating with the Taliban for the release of this uh, kid. Now, you're. You, let me understand the conditions. You're going to unblock Gonzo. Yes. If he takes down his Amazon wish list. Why do you care if he has an Amazon wish list, first of all? Well, if you look at the thing, that wish list is incredibly creepy. <laughs> oh, really? And yours isn't? That's creepy. There's a, it has a flashlight on it and a whole bunch of others. What's so weird about a flashlight? It's just, it's just a sex toy. Who cares? You have, like, you have, like... You have a, like a shitload of porno and like all kinds of crazy shit. The flashlight's not that. Uh, I have about maybe four porn movies on there. Four, yeah, right. He has like he has like four hundred on there. No, I don't. Yeah. Well, Eric, what's the difference between porn and a flashlight? Right. Yeah. I think because mine's a mine's a, a, a butthole, and he wants he thinks it's more conservative to have a vagina flashlight. So, Eric, you don't want a flashlight? No. 
But you think it's okay to have porn on your wish list, but Gonzo... And why do you care what Gonzo has on his uh, right. wish list? You're telling him to take it down because it's creepy? Who cares? I think you're afraid that he might get money that you would have gotten. He looks like an Amber Alert person in training. <laughs> But don't you think uh, don't you think that Gonzo's Amazon wish list is you're just giving more attention to it? Maybe. Yeah. So Eric, where are we at with this negotiation? Because Gonzo Shitcock says he still hasn't been um, activated on your account. Well, there was other conditions besides that. He's beginning to tell you that whenever someone uh, harassed me with. The word midget in their tweet that he pays me twenty five dollars and then all the way down to a sum of a what is it, I think two dollars and fifty cents for other things. But Eric, how can Gonzo Shitcock control what other people say on the internet about you? Well, because he's friendly with all of them. With yeah, everyone on the internet. I think person. <laughs> well everyone on Twitter, not the entire internet. Well, I mean, people on Twitter don't all listen to you, do they, Gonzo? Uh, well, if you ask Eric, he would say yes, but I don't. I don't think. I don't think that they do. So, how, so you're going to agree to that, Gonzo? I mean, that you have to pay him twenty five dollars every time someone calls him a midget? Uh, I already agreed to it on the phone, but I guess, like looking back now, it might. Uh, I don't know if I have enough weight to uh, to to take care of that bill. Don't you think, like, like Gonzo? Are you like the king of? Are you king of the Eric haters? And so, isn't it weird that? No, you're... no, I love, I love Eric. Like, I don't. I, but Eric, Eric, for some reason, hates me. But he, th I have. I, he thinks that I have like influence over everybody on Twitter that I can control them and make them do certain things. So he. Eric, I, do you think that Gonzo has more control of the internet than he really does? I don't know, but him and a bunch of others are in some kind of stupid ass anti. Eric Hall of Fame. Oh yeah, there's a there's a Eric the Midget Hall of Fame, but I didn't even I didn't even like uh, <laughs> I'm in the Eric the Midget Hall of Fame on Twitter, but I didn't even like uh, I didn't try to be in that. I just were just, you surprised uh, when Eric called you, Gonzo? No, because he kind of talked on over um, email because he stopped tweeting and stuff. So he like uh, he emailed me and said um, he wants to to negotiate something or like you know he I think he was like mad at me. He wanted like cuss me out. Yeah. But then when he called, it was, uh, he's actually a very sweet guy on the phone. He's, like, really kind. Yeah, because of other email harassment, one bitch is about to lose her job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eric, don't so, you so, think so, you're too some involved? Some people are being really mean to Eric. Eric, but, I mean, let's say people are mean to you. So what? Why not just let it go? And Howard. Just, yeah. Howard, how would you feel if some dick shit started emailing you saying, Bullshit about your parents and your kids. That's they do it. They do it every ten minutes. He just ignores it. They do it every That's ten what minutes. That's some bitch has been doing to me, and her ass is about to lose her fucking yeah. job. Boy. And by the way, Howard, I, Eric told me this, and I told him. Wait, 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 wait a second, Gonzo. Ignore it. Wait a second. Okay. You, you told him to ignore it, but he doesn't. Listen, Eric. How is this girl going to lose her job for tweeting about you? Because she's uh, in the medical profession she's supposed to be helping people not making people uh depressed or so who did you report her to there i haven't done it yet but i will huh. see, Howard, it, but so she's not about to lose her job she's not going to lose her job this is where X90 IQ comes in because when with him saying that, <laughs> she's so excited right now that even right. hear him talk about that. What did she say and, about you, uh, Eric, that got you so upset? She just been for the last two weeks saying a bunch of bullshit comments in emails harassed. What did she say that's so bad? Let's analyze this. Well, she said something about my family, people that she doesn't know anything What did she about. say? What did she say? I don't know what I have to of my head. You don't even remember. See, Eric, you can't even remember. You're you're so silly to be upset about something you can't even remember. Yeah, and for you to bring it up on the air, Eric, that's like that's just making her. That's just encouraging her. You know. 
All right. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't... I mean, I mean what could she I, say about I, your family? It's not true, so what would what, what upset you so much? Well, also, she keeps saying, and this is really a stupid thing, she's in the medical profession, but she keeps calling what I have, a disease. It's a fucking <laughs> disability, bitch. <laughs> Are so you, you kidding me? What, so nobody, yeah, I think, <laughs> but Eric, you're the only one reading her information. Nobody cares about her. She probably has one follower. Yeah, and Eric used to hate me, but I think Eric kind of he doesn't hate me anymore. I I, I told him I was like these people they just want to uh, they just want to get your goat, and Eric Eric takes the bait every single time. Eric, every time, just, if you just ignore Eric, then they'll. they'll yeah, Eric, you even get upset when someone says that they live in your house. Yeah, and I didn't even say that. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Can you so explain what? that, Eric? Yeah, explain that. You got upset because people said Gonzo lives in your house. <laughs> well, they said that he told me, or the certain person, they told me that Gonzo was on a message board talking about that I invited him for a Giants game and that I invited him to stay the weekend. <laughs> okay. So Why does that upset you? Yeah, what do you care? Because that's... Stupid. My parents wouldn't let anyone stay the weekend here. Yeah, but, but, it's their house. Oh, they pay the mortgage. All right. Uh, well, well coward. Yeah. Coward. Uh, when, when, but you could tell when, your parents. Let's say your parents. Oh, some, my God. Shut are up. his parents reading Twitter, Howard, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's my point. I mean, Eric, all I'm, tra the message board. Eric, all I'm trying to say is... That. I'm trying to say something. Go ahead. When you started with Sirius, the tagline that you guys used was no more bullshit. Right. So why isn't the bullshit stopping? What, what is my oh, you mean we? It, oh. What does my bullshit have to do with your bullshit? Your, your slug line You meant no, no more bullshit. bullshit in the world? Yeah, I meant no more bullshit for me, <laughs> not for you. No, no more bullshit. It for anyone involved with the show is what I think. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Let me clarify that. No more bullshit meant like we weren't going to bullshit you. <laughs> hey, you got it all wrong. No, this, it, it doesn't mean the whole world will be, will be free of bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit has just been banned. You know, I, you know, it, because I keep tabs on you, Eric, and you get upset about the silliest things. Eric's really pissed that someone accused him of having lasagna last Saturday when he had fish. <laughs> now I'm not fucking oh kidding, right? Howard, you? yeah, you people are idiots. I have not tweeted a single damn thing. Did you have lasagna? April the fuck in eight. <laughs> Did you have lasagna last week? No. So Sarah, what the hell is wrong with you? Did you have fish? I'm so I... sick of your level of retardant. How retardant? The words that come out of my mouth. All right. Did that you... thing has been tweeted on my real Twitter account. Since April the eighth, over a fucking month. So you stop so the, paying attention to the idiotic things. So the lasagna <laughs> tweet is not you. Nothing is m m me since April the damn eighth. Howard, I heard that. Eric How the music. hell hard is it for you? So let me understand something. Is Gonzo that? responsible for that guy putting a fake tweet up there? No. Because you want to find him for that to get rid of his Amazon account. Sweet. All right. All right. Anyway, I'm confused by all this, but anyway, it's fascinating. <laughs> all right, Eric, um, listen, I guess I just wanted to say, okay, let's clarify everything. Gonzo is willing to negotiate with you about his Amazon wish list. And that, right. he, and uh, he is w open to talking about it. I personally think he should not negotiate. Well, I did, I'm just trying to get unblocked. It's not about the wish list. Eric's trying to take away my wish list. He's trying to. Uh, yeah. Will yeah. you will you unblock uh, Gonzo so he can get back on there? Yes. Wow. 
Thanks, Eric. All right. Well, wow. let's see. Well, Gonzo, don't abuse the privilege. There. There you go. All right. Well, what, 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 uh, we'll, we'll talk about the terms later, Eric, I guess. But, um, are there terms, Eric, or is it conditional, uh, uh, unconditional? Yeah, what are the... I think there'll be terms. Oh. All right. Well, now there'll, be turn ups? Turn up. there'll be turnips. There'll be turnips. There'll be turnips. No, terms. No, you said turnips. No, I did I not. Like the like the <laughs> vegetable. I hate turnips, Eric. I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay, I really seriously think that you're the one with the ninety IQ, Howard. What you said, turnips? <laughs> no, I didn't. So, I, I Gonzo, do you turnips. agree not to eat turnips? Uh, I yeah, I hate turnips anyway. So All right, so it, there you go. Perfect. So Eric, yeah, will you unblock him now? There will be terms. Oh, terms. What about turnips? No, it's <laughs> not what I said. All right, Eric, I got to go anyway. Roseanne is here, and Gonzo, thank you. I'm. I'm oh, thinking... and Howard, Howard, can I just real quickly? I'm sorry to interrupt, but um, yeah. Roseanne blocked me too. So if you can ask Roseanne, if she can unblock. <laughs> we Roseanne. can't negotiate with everyone. All right, I'll ask Roseanne. Okay. All, all right, right. If you just, I, just briefly, all right, Eric, thank you for the time. I've been watching last comic standing really good. Oh, good. All right, I'll let uh, Roseanne know that. Nobody cares. Right, right, exactly. No more, bu hey, Eric, no more bullshit. <laughs> all right, later. All right, all right, all right okay. Care. Bye. No more. Did bullshit. you know you had the power to end all bullshit? I'm working on it. <laughs> I got two years left on my contract to make that. How many? How much time I got left here? By the way, two years? No, I think less than less. Oh, how much? Well, it's a year, uh, a year and a half. Good. I'm done. Had enough. No more bullshit. Uh, Eric, the actor, I got two seconds, Eric, but go ahead. I wanted to get to you before I go to train. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah, I got I to. Oh, either wait, that or, wait, come on. Or I can just, like, not get to you at all. I have a, an important PSA. Go ahead. Your fans are totally fucked in the head. Because <laughs> now this is the PSA. It, this is a PSA. How is this <laughs> serving the public? No offense, I don't see this serving the public. Well, it serves the people involved with this show. Uh, just tell me what's on your mind with the PSA. They have taken information, my personal information. Go ahead. And put one person and made a Craigslist posting with my address and two people showed up here so to the other members what, what kind of like a like a, a gay porn kind of thing well it was a, they listed a sibian they listed what a sibian yes something i would never mess with in my life wait a second they, they, someone took out an ad in craigslist using your home address and it said i was Selling a Sibian. Uh, <laughs> That's terrible. And people so, showed up at your house? Looking to buy a Sibian? Yes. Wow. Let me, get, let me jump ahead a little. Okay. So, to the people that you just, they are whack packers, right. I advise them to go online to make sure that their personal information of where they live and other stuff like that isn't floating around the internet where shitheads could get a hold of it. I can't believe people want to buy a used Sibian. And they wouldn't yeah, just call, had, they'd come. An yeah. old 70-year-old woman showed up to buy oh. it for, for her son. That's disgusting. <laughs> for her son? <laughs> yes. A Sibian? Oh, you mean this is the 70-year-old woman showed up to buy a Sibian for her son? Yeah, that was one of the two people. Were people freaked out when you answered the door? No, my roommate answered. Right. Uh, let's go but, into Gonzo and find out if he was behind this. Were you behind this, Gonzo? Hmm. No, Gonzo. Because he's one of these guys I know is always at war with you. Gonzo Shitcock. Uh, Vince, were you behind this? Hello, Vince? Hmm. What's happening? Yeah, I'm here. Were you behind uh, this prank played on Eric? Wait. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
Uh-huh. Wake up, stupid. <laughs> Speak. Which, which prank was that? Which? Oh. <laughs> Did you put well, an what ad? What have you done? <laughs> Vince, which... All right, let's work that way. Let's work backwards. Which prank did you do to Eric? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't do any prank, Eric. But I called him because I. Uh, I have. Eric proved that he's gay, or he has gay tendencies. How so? Oh dear. Well, because because that phone that call that uh, your guys made, to Eric, about uh, sticking the finger in the ass. Yeah. And and at the end, he said, "Kiss my ass." So he's inviting guys to kiss. Oh what? That's, jackass. That's a, that's as stupid as when two guys get into an altercation and one guy says to you, hey, fucking So you're me. saying that Eric is wanting a man to kiss his anus, so therefore he might have gay tendencies? Yeah, and he uh-huh. definitely work his, will work the way to his dick. What wow. you think he has. You think it's a subliminal or subconscious desire to have someone work his way to his cock? Right. Eric, exactly. how do you respond to what Vince is saying? <laughs> He's a fucking idiot. Right. I have no fucking gay tendencies. My ass is exit fucking only, piece of shit. Is it for what, I thought to come out of there? No, shit like you. <laughs> uh, then why do you own a Sibian if uh, you're not uh, homosexual? <laughs> Didn't I just fucking say I had no fucking use? For that, I don't have one. Were you I've selling one though? Had one. You're... No. Hmm. I saw an ad on Craigslist that said you're selling a, a Sibian. Hmm. It's fucking fake. Oh. Well, he's selling. Maybe you should Sibian. sell Sibians. Well, he's selling the Sibian because he doesn't need it. <laughs> I can't believe people showed up for him. <laughs> How much were they willing to pay? of that dumb buck. Who, Vince? Yes. Hmm. Okay. He, he's, not, he's not selling the Sibian because, well, he's selling the Sibian because uh, he doesn't need it anymore. He's got guys lined up to do them. <laughs> his wish, you know. All right, Vince, thank you. Okay. Right. Go f*** yourself. Okay. <laughs> 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 huh. Hey, Johnny Frado was saying you're doing the voice on Yucko's uh, TV show. You're doing it on his cartoon. Is that true? Well, he's working on that, which he would first focus on my safety and then get me on a cartoon that makes South Park and Family Guy look like fun, clean, wholesome entertainment. All right. Your safety? I don't know. But does he have so many points coming that he can make fun of anyone he's offered? I don't know. I don't know what he's up to. Uh, Steve is on the phone for Eric. Were you behind this prank? Uh, no, I just want to know, uh, Eric, how much for the Sibian? Uh, Eric? Get the fuck off. The this guy wants sell. to buy the actual Sibian. I, I got a pickup. I'll hey, come down sell. today. Sal. Is this Sal? Where did uh, the Civil Steve. War start and end? This isn't Sal. It's Steve. I just want to know how oh, much you want for the Sibian. It's oh, I was on Craigslist and I saw a little smurfy, fucked up, lobster handed freak selling a Sibian. Oh, come on. Stop that. It is Sal. I recognize what the voice. What are you talking about? Come on, come on. Stop You it. didn't rub your smurf cock on that Sibian, did uh, you? Oh, come on. Come on. That's outrageous. Hey, Sal, I knew what the Civil War was when I was 10. Exactly. When you're supposed to know. Good for you, Eric. Also, know where it began and where it ended the first shot was fired and where the you know truth was signed look at you you little show look off. at you 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 little show off <laughs> well it kind of helps having a father that's a civil war buff ah uh. <clears throat> By the way, if you still have that Sibian, I'll give you 500 bucks for it. I've been in a majority of the battlefield. <laughs> oh, have you? Oh, really? You ever been to a Civil yeah. War reenactment? Yeah. Excellent. I'm, I'm so proud of your dad for taking him one of those. It's important. Does your dad have, like, um, a, a big board where he has the soldiers and he fights and off the battles? Him? Does he ever, like, paint soldiers and stuff? He used to have a chess set like that, and, and he... Uh, checkers, uh, and then he has like 
Civil War swords, Civil War guns, just, you know, Civil Civil War memorabilia. Let's go to Ethel for Eric the Actor. Uh, Ethel, go ahead. I still want that Sibian for my grandson, if it's for sale, sir. Hey, Richard. (laughs) Shut up. This is Ethel. No, you not. Do you come with the Sibian, sir? Will you run it for my grandson? (laughs) What an honor to have Ethel. Grow up. Grow up, uh, Ethel. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, sir. I want that Sibian. Well, maybe you ought to get off with uh, Eric and get on uh, Tradio and make some phony phone calls. (laughs) Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Eric, I got to go. I got train coming in. and Okay? Okay. All right. If anybody's giving out Eric's address, please don't do it. Yeah, that's going a bit far. Right. Bye for now. Bye. It's Eric, the actor. Okay. Hey, Johnny, did you get Eric a job on that uh, Yucko TV show? I thought Johnny was there. I guess he hung up. All right. Uh, oh, I know where I'll begin. I see Gonzo Shitcock is on the phone. Oh. Yes, Gonzo. And by the way, uh, there is, there's a new thing going on with the people who send in song parodies. Hey, Eric. Hey, hey, Gonzo Shitcock. What's this new thing? The new thing is they've created uh, songs for everyone but Wolfie. (laughs) (laughs) Even Gonzo Shitcock has a song, Robin. It's unbelievable. It's Gonzo, Gonzo Shitcock. (laughs) Gonzo, Gonzo Shitcock. Oh, my God. And a nice time. Sometimes I feel that song or those words should never be in song. Gonzo <laughs> Shitcock, uh, by the way, of course, uh, it became Gonzo Shitcock because of uh, Eric the Actor. Yeah. Eric the Actor's uh, arch enemy is Gonzo Shitcock. And nicely yeah. there, Eli Braden incorporated the Ack Ack into your theme song. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, but it's great. And uh, wait, Eric wants to talk to you, actually. This is a great way to come back. Eric is on the phone. Hey, Eric. Hello. I believe Eric has. Does Eric have a new theme song, too? It's weird that that Eric wouldn't have a theme song. Yeah, but Gonzo Schick. Here, how's Eric's this? Here's, want- here's one for Eric. <laughs> What do you think, Eric? Nice theme song, huh? I don't make that fucking sound. (laughs) <laughs> but it's you making it. No, it's not. That's from a movie. Is that not Eric? That's my point. <laughs> you know the name of that movie. <laughs> Mars Attacks. Right. <laughs> well, I, it just sounds like Eric. It's not Eric. <laughs> but Eric, it does sound like you, you got to admit. <laughs> no, it doesn't. That's you, Eric. That's <laughs> exactly, <laughs> that sounds exactly like you, Eric. Shut up, idiot. <laughs> I want. I Eric, want oh, you Howard, to... can I tell? Let me, Howard, Eric's been a complete asshole to me the last two weeks that we've been on. <laughs> he has been such a dick. Like I'm nothing but nice. This guy. This guy has been fucking torturing me on Twitter, sending me fucked up, up emails, fuck up. all kinds. See? Okay, Shut go ahead. Up, fuck up. Mm. You, and also, how I exposed Eric because Eric was tweeting from a fake account. He like because you know I stopped tweeting. He made a fake account called uh, Rodeo Man Nine Six Nine. I, I exposed him and I released voicemail clips. I sent it to you guys. I don't know if you have them, but I exposed him and he got pissed off at me. I told him all I asked him was to unblock. That's me. why I keep calling you a fuck up. <laughs> why? Because I, I told because I told the truth about your fake accounts that you were tweeting from. Will you admit now that at least it was a fake account? Because you were you were making I, me look like an asshole, and you were like destroying my good name. Eric, you've been accused of making a fake account. This is uh, where it comes down to you telling the truth, or or or, or, is, or is is Gonzo lying? Yeah, you're destroying my credibility, Eric. Like you're making me look like the asshole when you're the asshole. I let you in on that to try to 
test your loyalty. But yeah, you, that's... <laughs> Yeah, right. Eric, are you saying the That's fake account was was set up with Gonzo Shinkok's knowledge to see if he was loyal to you? It was a mastermind of a genius plan on your part to see if he was loyal to you. This was a sting. Yeah, yeah but then he, but then the fucker blocked me, and I said, Eric, just unblock me by midnight, and he, I won't release the audio tapes of you admitting to being, being this fake account. Because I, Eric had my trust, and I wasn't going to expose him for being this fake, fake account. So I said, Eric, just... And then he blocked me, so I said, unblock me by midnight, and I won't I won't tell anyone that you're really this account. Hey, and I won't hey, release Mr. the audio... Hey, Mr. Bullshit. This is unbelievable what I'm hearing, a plot by Eric the Actor to fool Gonzo Shitcock. Gonzo Shitcock falling for it and Eric exposing. Wow. The, the only reason why you got blocked again after being unblocked was because you exposed me. You called in the... But I gave you an opportunity. Hey, Dopey, I can't... Eric the manager, no one can... Yeah. The bullies him on Twitter! Gone so shit, cock. Gone so shit, cock. Eric the manager, no one can... Yeah. The manager really hates him! Gone so shit, cock. Gone so shit, cock. Thanks, little Mikey. <laughs> little Mikey, Eli Braden, but uh, those guns are Shitcock uh, theme songs. But, I want uh, his exit song to be na 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 na. Hey hey, goodbye. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> well, you know, Robin, there's a lesson in all of this, and people say, "Why what do you the have?" Lesson? Well, the lesson is: this is what happens when you're trapped in the house all day long. You <laughs> run out of shit to do, and you end up fighting with guys or shitcock on Twitter. Uh, it's really a, a good lesson. By the way, Eric, I heard this uh, amazing call that Wendy the retard and Gary the retard uh, uh, made to you. They were here, and they started um, calling Eric. They called Eric. Yeah, Listen to this. Waking me up when I was trying to sleep. Yeah, I know. And and this is amazing. Gary and Wendy didn't understand Eric's wish list. You know that Eric has a wish list on Amazon so fans can buy him things. Yes. Gary and Wendy want all of the items on Eric's wish list sent to them. Oh. And here's what happened when they told Eric. Hello. Hi, Eric. It's Gary. It's Wendy. 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 And Gary the Red Guy. Hello. Can you, you hear me? Yes. Hello. Do you have a wish list on, on uh, Amazon? Yes, Gary. What do you have on it? We, we want, want it. your stuff. We want your stuff. Buy me some stuff? No, Wendy. Goodbye, Wendy. Why? I want the tech armor, HD clear screen, protector for Apple Me iPad, three pack. <laughs> Eric, <laughs> sorry, sorry, we got, sorry, got disconnected. I hung up on you. I don't have time to put up with this bullshit. I want the carbo popcorn tub. Me too. Thanks, Eric. Leave me the fuck alone now. I want the ice cream man. I want the ice cream maker. <laughs> Eric, we got disconnected. <laughs> Mr. Disconnected. Disconnected. I fucking hung up on you. Fuck off. I want the 5,000 cases of bottled water. Leave me the fuck alone. 5,000 Why can't you fucking get that away? Oh, I forgot. I have Your one brain. question, Eric. Leave me the fuck alone. I want the Ghostbusters DVD, goddammit. You two mentally challenged people. <laughs> question, Eric. Please? I don't give a I don't give a fuck if you have a fucking question. I want your me, DB gun. Me alone. Hello. Eric, we're back. Sorry, Eric, you just got disconnected. We weren't finished. Right. I don't care if you weren't finished. Eric, you want monopoly. Me, me <laughs> the fuck alone. You two mentally challenged people. You I mean, tell me, hey, Eric, you mean, hey, you stupid fucking retard, shut up. You mean, tell me you can't <laughs> take this shit? You, yeah, you know what? You got them fucking retard. Yeah, you're calling me the retard, Gary. Shut up. Leave me the fuck alone. Can't wait to get your stuff in the mail, Eric. We want your wish list. <laughs> Eric, are you wrapping 
our presents? Now leave me alone for good. Sorry. Sorry. What was, I think you'd be more sympathetic to them, actually. Eric's just mad because he was the dumbest person on that phone call. Aww. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, idiot. Yeah, look. Eric, I would have thought you'd be more empathic with them. Isn't your, isn't, your IQ like, isn't your IQ like the same as theirs, Eric? That was, that no, was it's you... not, you bullshit. Don't it's, pretty, it's, it's, it's pretty close. Would you guys clear something up for me? Gonzo, I thought you were friends with Eric now, and now it seems yeah. like Eric's mad at you. No, we were friends, and then Eric uh, blocked me. He got mad because I said I was just goofing on him, and, and he got he can't take a joke. and got mad. He blocked me, and then I, and then I released audio tapes proving that he was tweeting from other accounts, and then now he's now he's pissed at me. But so I was trying are, to just be his friend. You guys are not friends. Not now. I've maybe. never been this idiot's friend. No, we were friends for for a while, but no. Now he just, he just turned on me over the over the break. He just hey, I've unblocked you reluctantly. Yeah, right, hmm. Eric. He's All right, well, cool. okay, Eric and Gonzo. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> he, like, he wants to go to war with me. I don't know what his problem is. He, like, wants to fight well, me. Let me hear what Eric has to say. Okay, sir. My purpose for calling this idiot for the last two weeks has been begging me to take Johnny's job, and he'd be my agent. So over the weekend, I wrote out a challenge contest. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, okay. <laughs> so I sent it to you guys. All right. Okay. Look, Eric, I, I just got back, so I got to really kind of get down to a lot of things. Right. Yeah, Eric, and I don't know that Gonzo Shitcock is a powerful player in Hollywood. As a, uh, as a, as much well, as I like Gonzo, well, as, if Gonzo is asking for the job, he must have some plans. Gonzo, yeah, I, do you want I, to be his I, agent? Yeah, I would like to because Eric um, Frado doesn't have time for Eric. Eric's bullshit, and Eric doesn't even pay Frado, so he has more lucrative um, deals that he has to do. But Johnny so does have Eric's, certain connections. Yeah, I have some connections. Yeah, too. I have um, some of my. Oh, I, know, I, know, I know some people. No, I do, Eric. I know like a bunch of like uh, like because we're in Sacramento. I know a bunch of like UFC fighters and stuff, and they know like uh, famous people, and I, I can get you some. Uh, okay, a UFC appearance compared to an acting role. Let me weigh that out. No. All right. Okay. Well, I'm the one getting you the acting roles. No offense. Yeah, Eric. Well, Don't. Tony's been the one finishing the deal. Right. I get finished the deal too. Just give me the alley oop and I'll and I'll and I'll score the I'll score the goal. That's all I ask. I won't give you bullshit. I have way more time than Johnny Prado does too, Eric. Right? How do you have so much time, Gonzo? Uh, well, I just I, I work a job from like eight to four thirty, and then um, that's pretty much it. I don't have a girlfriend. I just uh, I just come back to my my apartment. You just have yeah, Eric. She wise up. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I just fuck with so you can concentrate on Eric full time, huh? I already do, so I might as well uh, make it lucrative for Eric. So right, she got smart and she left him. All right, guys, I got to go. Uh, Eric, it's up to you. You now have a, a second person who wants to represent you in terms Eric of your acting. You're fighting career. to represent Eric. Yeah, I yeah, know. and that's, and look how much of an absolute thing to me. I'm just trying to be Eric's Eric's friend and like help yeah. him out. And he just does nothing but just like berate me, belittle hey, me. Here's what? how much I don't want you to be in my life. If you were to win the contest challenge, I would give up on being in the entertainment business. I would give up <laughs> on calling this show ever again. Wow. You're such a, we're such a dope. Why would you come up with a contest? I want to work could, with you. <laughs> Eric, you're so retarded. Why would you come up with a contest just to, like, if you if you hate me so much, why would you even come up with a contest? You, you, you you're addicted to me. rid of you. Now you're addicted to me, Eric. This is it. All right. No, um, I'm not. Yeah, yes. Yeah, whatever. All right, guys. Uh, Eric announcing. We learned some more stuff. Eric announcing that he considers himself in the entertainment business. <laughs> uh, we've also learned. We've also learned that a guy with um, who contacts no Eric, brains. We also learned that a guy who <laughs> you have a 90 IQ. You're going to tell me I have no brain. And we also have a guy on the phone who uh, contacts Eric at least 12 times a day, and he doesn't have a girlfriend. That's pretty shocking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, there he, he is. Did. He Th did have a girlfriend, but she got smart and left him. All right. Thanks, guys. Eric the Actor and Gonzo Shidcock, uh, and I hope to hear more about their saga in the future. Gonzo, Gonzo Shidcock.
There you go. Everybody now has a theme song. Um, uh, Eric, the actor. Well, wow, how you doing? You must be calling in because your fellow thespian. Yeah. Well, yes. So, you know, not many people have the name the actor, and. Uh, <laughs> I'm um, not a black actor, but I would take thoughts in my act after I give him the truth. Uh, All right, enough of that. We heard yeah. that one already. Yes, go ahead, Eric. Well, I was calling because of the fact that last week I did another acting gig. I recorded for Brickleberry. Uh-huh. Hey, Eric, did it bother you that... Um, I saw a lot of people on the internet writing about uh, the wrestling franchise TNA. You were a part of it, and they were canceled. And yet, it's another thing you were a part of that got canceled. And I know the rap with you is everything Eric does gets He's canceled. The kiss of death, yes. Yeah, like you're kind of the kiss of death. And uh, now T TNA wrestling was canceled. Did that bother you? How many times do I have to repeat myself? Go ahead. I don't have one fucking thing to do with any of those shows being canceled. <laughs> no, no, but you were on TNA. You... Hey, 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 hey. Shows get canceled because lack of good writing, lack of good acting, lack of viewership. That's why shows get canceled. Yeah, but you got to admit, in a way, it's sort of unlucky when they have you on because they all get canceled. I don't think there's one show that you were on that ever... Survive. Survive. <laughs> Having you on. <laughs> okay, so then. It is kind of a coincidence. The show, show was Robin Williams that you just mentioned. Yeah. I wasn't on that. Well, yeah, of course. Well, of course, other shows get canceled, but all of yours get canceled. Right. I have nothing the fuck. Do well, we know, but I'm saying that you, we know you had nothing to do with it, but we're, I'm just saying, does it bother you that people say that about you? Fuck yes. <laughs> because I, I know even some of the songs right. I get are like Eric the Show Killer, or, uh, you know, like, like this song. By Eric the, the TV Show Killer. <laughs> He's got carrot colored hair. Every TV show he goes on ends up going off the air. In plain sight got canceled. Fringe and American dreams. Now FX has killed off legit. And he was only in one scene. <laughs> if you want that tiny man to be on your TV show. You're playing with dynamite. With Eric, your show might be gone by tonight. Listen up, all you producers. We know you have some empathy. But if you cast Eric the actor, your TV show will be his story. Which is kind of a funny song. I mean, all the coincidences. And now TNA got canceled. Yeah. All I have to say is, shall grow up. <laughs> um, <laughs> grow up. It is, oh man, it is this simple. Hey, what's going on with you and Gonzo? I see he's on the line too. Let me let me see what he has to say real quick. What is it, Gonzo? Oh, hold it. Yes. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, Harry? What? Are you, how are you and Eric getting along? Uh, not very well. I hate not him. very well at all. Yeah, it's been, he's been a real dick because he's been a real asshole lately. I've been, you know, I've, I've been avoiding him. I, I, I haven't, I've, I've been trying to avoid the abuse, so I haven't really been talking to him much. But um, I did find it interesting yeah, that TNA got canceled. I see, I see by looking at your profile, you're still making up bullshit about me. What did he say? Well, like I, like I caused a bullway. Right. A what? <laughs> he caused what? Happened. I don't no, know. Hold it's a boli. Eric, Eric, did you cause a boli? Yeah, I've never even been to Africa once. No, I think it was from when when Eric took his when Eric took his trip to the Congo. He got a bola, and then he brought it back to the states. Is that, that, that was just a rumor? That's a rumor that I heard. Yeah. So, what else did he write about you, Eric? Dumbass. The only foreign country that I've ever been to in my life is Canada. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Gonzo. Here's another also, song about Erica killing off TV shows, in case you want to hear it. Every show he's oh, been on it's not a song. has been canceled. Excuse one. Every show he's acted on. I thought it was a song. Sorry. Yeah, who was? Yeah, I also heard Eric was starting the ball. I thought Eric was in jail, so I'm surprised that he's actually on the phone. How do you get Ebola in Canada, uh, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you were starting the wildfires in California. There was like a lot of wildfires, and I thought that you might have been in jail. So I'm I'm happy that you you were able to. You call started. Uh, oh, he started the wild. You said that Eric yeah. started the wildfires. Yeah, like I saw in, uh, the AP tweeted about uh, Eric, or they they said somebody was starting wildfires in California. You're saying intentionally he started them. Yeah, yeah. So I thought I was, I, I was pretty sure it was Eric. Howard, Howard, don't even listen. And that bullshit. How How, the hell I can't believe. That logistically, don't think why would why, why would the AP tweet and report that though? But you live in California, right? Yeah, Eric and I both live in the same city. We both live in Sacramento. Hello. So. Hello. Yes. You and I aren't the only two males in the state. Well, was ask. it reported that Eric was uh, seen in the woods? I think that's what I read. Yeah, I was going through my tweets, um, my mentions, and I, I, I thought I saw that. Like a lot of people were, were tweeting about it. So, Eric, do you hate Eric? Do you hate trees because they're tall and you're not? <laughs> <laughs> you are the biggest dumb fuck walk the planet, Gonzo. Eric, Eric, so, Eric, so what happened with? TNA? I thought it was me. I, I really did too. I thought, uh oh. <laughs> Eric, what happened with uh, TNA? What, how, how did you manage to kill off that franchise? Because. I was kind of upset because I know, like the wrestlers, they have families and stuff, and I know people like Hansy are big. Well, Eric didn't. Fans. Eric didn't cancel TNA, but it is a coincidence, I guess, that every show he's been on has has run into trouble. Yeah, I don't want him to be on Walking Dead because I really enjoy Walking Dead. So if uh, we can just make sure Eric doesn't go on that show, I love Walking good. Dead. Yeah, please, Eric, don't do Walking. Eric, Dead. are you up for a part in Walking Dead? Please, no, no Eric. No. Okay. So far, we're <laughs> safe. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> well, Eric, you wanted to say something. What you said you just recorded lines for Brickleberry. How's that show doing? Is it? Uh, <laughs> that show will be done in a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't start airing episodes till September. Oh, they may never air. <laughs> I hope that 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 show stays on the air because that's Yucko's show, and I hope it stays oh, on the air. If he kills Yucko's show, that then that's a double tragedy. Right. Yeah. We're all going to be watching it to make sure that uh, we, we want to see if it goes down or not. What is it, Gary? Uh, Howard, you know who the great director Paul Feig is, the guy yes. from Bridesmaids yes. and Heat and all those movies. So we had him on at Comic Con. Yeah. And he talked about Eric in two ways. He said, first of all. He would never hire Eric because of, you know, he loves the show and he loves Eric and he thinks Eric's interesting, but he hears the difficulties with, that you get, you know, when you get Eric. But he also said that there's a superstitious part of him. Right. That's, <laughs> if I use Eric, will I be killing my project? Wow. Uh, well, it's ridiculous. I think it's only a coincidence. 11 times? No. How, how, how many, look how many shows is there. Look oh, how, how they've all died. Oh, oh, oh. They've all died. Hey, Gary, who's bad with Matt? Now, I will add five gigs now. How do I cancel 11 shows? Right. <laughs> you, you win. <laughs> well, we're still here. Eric's on our show. Yeah, he hasn't and killed Eric. You're, 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 you're something special. <laughs> we're ground zero, I guess. <laughs> and Eric, Eric never acted on We're the roaches of the... <laughs> we, created, we created the evil. Yeah, we're roaches. You can't kill us. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Eric the show killer. Ah, come on. So Eric, no, I, I, I wish Mr. Strauss would call in again because when he talked to you before I was on in plain sight, he said these words in plain sight is having their final season. Right, right. No matter what. That go. way you couldn't kill it. He probably waited. Right, right. <laughs> All right, so there you go. There's proof, uh, Gonzo, okay? All right, well, Yucko, if you're listening, don't be careful, Yucko. I, I'm sorry for Yucko in advance because uh, it just then, uh, I feel awful for all these shows that have been murdered by this serial killer. It's, 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 and it's, let's go on to something. Let's go on to something happy. Let's uh, talk about getting Eric the actor laid. I mean, when's the yeah? last time? When's the last time you got any, Eric? 2009. What? 2009. Oh, two, I thought you said just the other night. I was like, what the? <laughs> What's happening? The world just shifted on its axis. 2009. 
2009. You know, when you ask a guy when he last <laughs> got laid and he goes back years, it's depressing. Let's see. What year is this? 2014. 14. Let me do some quick math. Right. Uh, 2009. Then you, let's round that off to 10. Five, That's one five year. Five years. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you. You want me to check that math or uh, you got that right? I think a man who hasn't had it in that long knows no. how. Don't you picture like Eric's bed and next to the bed on the wall is like those chalk marks like prisoners put right, on the wall? Right, <laughs> <laughs> five years worth of marks. Mathematics just died. Yeah. Because Eric just did math. Eric, five years. That's a long time. And he loved sex. He did. He is, loved is it, it time to break? Bunny Ranch style? Yeah. He loves that Bunny Ranch. You loved it, right? Yes, one problem, though. What? With, with my condition right now, I can't go to high elevation. Oh, dear. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, dear. Is in high elevation. I would say fuck that. You know, the only pussy Harry can get <laughs> yeah, is in high elevation. Is oh. where he can go. Is there some pussy palace that's on low elevation? <laughs> Do you have an underground location for the bunny ranch? <laughs> Something at sea level, please. Yeah, anything at sea level. <laughs> Do they have a bunny ranch in Death Valley? <laughs> oh, my actually, actually, One actually. problem, though. <laughs> What's that? I can't go to high elevation. Oh, oh my I God. I actually think I know some girls that would, that would actually fuck her. Cause I, we live in the same town. If oh yeah, wasn't such an unruly asshole. I, I could probably hook him up, but you think you can get her really... laid? Oh, I, I know I could. He's like a celebrity. Like I, I know some girls that are pretty hot that would that would be down to fuck him. But Eric's kind of a dick, so are you just really saying that to screw with his head? Right? Or... Yeah. No, no. Actually, no. I, I'm I'm pretty sure I know at least you know two girls that would that would be that would be willing to uh, at least like give him like a hand job and like you know. So can you hook him up? Yeah, I'd be happy to, but Eric. But Eric's been kind of—he's he's been kind of a dick to me lately, so I'm not really. What if he apologized? If he apologized, yeah, and he unblocked me, I would be down for that. And you think you'd get him a hand job? Yeah, I could. I could send him some pictures tonight of uh, these girls. It might, it might, like, you know, I have, I have some pretty cute friends that would be, you know, they're, you know, Stern Show fans that would be willing. Do they? To, but... Do they live in high elevation? <laughs> no, no, no. Are they willing to come down? Are they willing to come down to Eric's elevation? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, they actually already live in this elevation, so it'd be perfect for Eric. Would they be willing to give Eric a, a, a hand job in a submarine if we had to submerge him? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure they would. If Eric was willing to do it. I'd like to interview a girl willing to have sex with Eric for free. <laughs> you know, we can, yeah, I, I can, I can, I can arrange that. And you say these girls are hot, huh? Yeah, I mean, well, for Eric, it's not. I mean, <laughs> the Eric, they're, they're, they're are they hot. fat? No, 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 no. Actually, I know one of them. She's, uh, she, yeah, she's pretty hot. I, I actually used to bang her myself. But um, do you know any girls? Eric? Like, would any of these girls take their boobs and jerk uh, Eric off with their boobs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I don't think they would be down to like make out with him and shit because that might be a little weird. But um, right. I'm sure they would be down to like you know like, like jerk him off or like give him like titty fuck him if Eric would be down for that. You think they put lotion on their hands when they jerk him off? Yeah, mm. they would, yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't do anything lame like wear a glove or something, would they? <laughs> I, uh, maybe. Yeah, who cares? But, no, no, no. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. They wouldn't care. They wouldn't. Uh, you know, as long as Eric was a gentleman. But Eric, Eric's kind of like uh, he has a really bad reputation of being an asshole. So if he could kind of switch his reputation and be a little mm -hmm. bit more friendly. Eric, what do you so. say? I do not know if I want to do this or not because I don't want to have anything to do with him. Yeah, with Gonzo. Well, Eric, they're, but Eric, they're, they're Eric the Actor fans. They're actually, they're, they're just like friends of mine in real life, but they're actually like, you know, they're big Eric the Actor fans. <laughs> but they, you just you kind of have a reputation of being a dick. So All right, you guys well, work this out. I got shit to, to do anyway. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's fascinating, but. If it does go down, let me know, all right, if you guys work things out. Okay, yeah, Eric, Eric, email me, and we'll uh, we'll work something out. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> He'd rather not get jerked off. Wow. Guys, Eric... you just jerk him off. <laughs> oh. Put on a wig. <laughs> Would you like that, Eric? Should I just put a wig on and jerk you off? Nope. Not interested. <laughs> no, he's homophobe. All right, guys, I got to go. Eric, anything you want to say about Brickleberry before we go? Just that it should be on, like, Yucca's January. 
<laughs> oh, this uh, is early promotion. Early pre-promotion, uh, Gary would call it. Right, and then it was the quickest gig I had. I was only in the recording studio maybe an hour. Hmm. Boy, I can't imagine. What got, What was your line? I had about 10 to 12 lines. Wow. Can you give us one? <clears throat> Not really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, as a fellow actor, any statement about Robin Williams? Well, I enjoyed his movies. Probably one of my favorites was Patch Adams. Uh huh. Not uh, critically acclaimed, Patch Adams, and yet uh, audiences loved it. Uh, Robin Williams actually said that uh, he makes no apologies for that movie because uh, the people liked it. I got a feeling Brickleberry is going to be joining uh, Robin Williams pretty soon mm. after. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's hope not. I mean, poor, uh, poor uh, Yucca. Yeah, Yucca will be following. I mean, Yucca's finally having a life. <laughs> We can't do that to Yucco. Yeah, break the jinx, Eric, and, and let's make sure that uh, Brickleberry stays on the air. The night at the museum, Louis were also good. Mm. Eric, you have very um, interesting. She likes, she likes the most childish rub movies. Yeah, childish taste. <laughs> A lot of people enjoy the uh, museum uh, franchise. <laughs> they were all five. Yeah, they were all five. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're elementary school. <laughs> the third one's coming out later this year. With Robin Williams? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I think we had enough fun here. All right. Did, is there All anyone right. on Earth, by the way, who thought Eric would live longer than Robin Williams? Uh, no. No. Well, technically I haven't. I'm not 63. No, but you've, you know, you're on the planet and he's not. Yeah, if you do the mathematics, it's kind of... Right. You know. Like, I used to always say, you're playing with the house's money. But, yeah, I'm glad. I hope Eric lives to be 100, because I, I love Because he's your whole life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but I do want to get Eric... Like, you know Eric sounds like a little bit? Robin Williams in Popeye. Do you ever think of that, Robin? There you Robin? go. Yeah. Yes, because Eric, 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 even though Eric's an asshole, like I, I really do have Eric's best interests at heart. And, All right, so, good. I, All right, I, I Gonzo. Thank you. And Eric, thank you. By the way, that was Thank one you. of the movies that was left off almost every list. Yeah, Popeye didn't do well. Yeah. No, they all can't be a, a home run. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you want to give one final Nanu Nanu for the uh, day? I uh, guess so. Go ahead. Nanu Nanu is Johnny's birthday. What? It's Johnny's birthday today. Nanu Nanu? Did you hear? Can you say I, that again? I said that. I didn't hear it. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, Friends lasted two seasons after I was on it. Right. What show is that? Fringe. Fringe. Yeah. Fringe. Oh, Fringe. You still killed it, though. You just killed it a slow death. <laughs> All right, guys. I got to go. Later. It's like, it's like cancer. Like Gonzo. <laughs> All right, go fuck yourself. <laughs> My idiot. Ack, ack. Show killer. Hmm. Shut up, dipshit. <laughs> that took you a while. Not very quick today, are you? Oh, I was trying to think of what word I wanted to call you. <laughs> and you have a and you have a very and you have a very low IQ, so it takes a long time. No, I'm getting tired of that bullshit. That test was not accurate. I'm above ninety. I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> you were, you were t Eric, you were tested by a you were tested by a a, a, a real facility. How, how how are you above a ninety? They. They determined that you're 90. The woman said his handicaps could affect this testing. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, the handicaps in his head. There's no, I mean, other than that. Mm -hmm. I don't... All right, guys. I got to oh, go. Bye. bye, Gonzo. Bye, Eric. Eric bye, Eric. is a and Gonzo is his name. Yeah, Gonzo, Shitcock, and Eric always go at it on Twitter. Amazing. Yeah.
Do you believe he can't get laid because he's got to go above? Uh, he's got to go into high altitude. Right. I that was a shocker. I didn't know that altitude was holding him back. Yeah. By the way, when I had uh, Eric on the phone, I meant to uh, mention that there's a guy on Twitter who has a feed called Eric the Midget Facts, and every day he posts a different Eric the... the oh, yeah? He calls him Eric the Midget. We call him Eric the Actor. Actor, yes. Nanu, nanu. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to be isolated. Yes, of course. <laughs> Uh, here, I'll give you some facts, all right? On July 8th, 2005, Eric said he wouldn't ask Jessica Simpson why the Jews ran Hollywood because he didn't think she knew. <laughs> nanu, nanu. On September 12th, 2007, Eric said he isn't an anti-Semite because he only called Shuley a balding Jew out of anger. Oh. See? You're only anti-Semitic if you use those terms when you're not angry. Right. Didn't know that. In February of 2008, Eric insisted on being called Eric the Songwriter. His only song was changing the lyrics to Wild Thing for his girlfriend. That's when he went through his Eric the Songwriter phase. <laughs> Eric the City Songwriter. Uh, let's see. I'm just, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm skipping a couple of them. Right. Some facts aren't hmm. that interesting. Yeah, they're, they're all interesting, but, you know, for sake of the show. Uh, okay. On February 13th, 2006, Eric admitted to voting for Deanna DiGarmo 445 times in the American Idol finals. <laughs> she lost. <laughs> what if she only got 445 votes? <laughs> On November 27, 2012, Eric asked Gary Delabate to go on Twitter and tell everyone he didn't have HIV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, Eric's the best. Let's see. Like, see. There's other little facts. Like When asked to rate his own physical attractiveness on a scale of 1 to 10, Eric gave himself a 5. On July 29, 2008, Eric called Shuley four eyes, despite the fact that Eric himself wears glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh. On two separate occasions, Howard 100 News reported that Eric was picking his nose and eating it on his oh. JFSC cam show. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Eric, of course, denied it. Yes. Eric, Eric. Vehemently. On December 10, 2008, Eric revealed he wrote a 38-page script about loving the Bunny Ranch horse called You Hooked My Heart. <laughs> In June of 2006, Eric gave Carrie Underwood a note to give Catherine McPhee saying not to do the Stern Show. Well, these are just little Eric the Actor wow. facts. Now, this is history I'm interested in. Right. <laughs> Nano Nano's the best. Uh, as a matter of fact, I see Eric the actor is on the phone, who, by the way, has his own update on uh, work that he is doing in the acting field. As you know, Eric has been a very, very busy actor. And, uh, Eric, what is your update? First off, good morning, George. Good morning. How are you? George good. doesn't like you, Eric. What? Who, why did you say that? Just to bust his balls. <laughs> You are such a rascal. I saw on the internet this weekend there was all kinds of stuff about Eric starting wildfires. Yeah, what was that? You were, wildfires. You were, actually, uh, here is uh, Gonzo Shitcock who says he has an update on Eric, which is shocking. What is it, Gonzo? Hey, what's up, bud? Hey, uh, George. I'm a big fan of yours. Morning. Good morning. Um, yeah, I saw um, the Ferguson wild, um, the Ferguson riots yesterday. Uh -huh. I thought I saw Eric uh, uh, throwing uh, Molotov cocktails at the really? police. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to see if. Uh, Do you live in Ferguson, Missouri? Uh, Eric? No, no, no. I was, I was watching this. Eric, please uh, respond to this. Were you in Ferguson, and did you throw Molotov cocktails at the police? I have yeah, not been out. Hey, shut up. Ask White. You burned down six churches, Eric. Please. I have not been out of state for almost two years. No, I'm pretty sure I'll Eric, I believe you, but do you have any proof that you were not in Ferguson? Yes. 
What is he's the proof? Starting, he's, he's, starting, he's starting wildfires. He's doing multiple. What do you mean by wildfires? What did you say, Gonzo, about Ebola? That Eric was somehow involved. Yeah, there, there was an Ebola <laughs> thing too. Oh yeah, that was that was just a rumor, and that that wasn't true. So it was but, not uh, true. He, he he was there is a warrant out for his arrest for starting the wildfires though in uh, wow. in California. I don't believe it. <laughs> there is Eric's no soap in the warrant oh, Howard, for my you know, Eric, arrest. Like, excuse me, Gonzo, but I want Eric to, a chance to respond. Eric, uh, how do you feel about the police? Are you anti-police that you would throw a Molotov cocktail? Fuck no. My dad was a cop. Oh, okay. So why a Molotov cocktail? That is, why, that is widely known. That is widely known. <laughs> George, did you know that? I did not know. You have a you have, to, you have an inside job, Eric, and and then and then like your brother's like a firefighter too, so it, it all kind of makes oh, sense and the fires keep his brother employed. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. So I think wow. Eric's, uh, he's masterminding some crazy shit. Like all this crazy stuff has been going on in the. In Was Eric nation, also throwing so, oh. mild Eric, articles. why are you so silent with all these accusations going on? Oh God, George, please don't. Buy any of the bullshit that this idiot says. Oh, that's this what it bullshit is. Bullshit that he said is that, or says is the reason why I will never, ever fuck now block his ass. <laughs> you are you, Howard, Howard, you Howard, know, uh, Gonzo, you know, Eric was thinking of unblocking you on Twitter, and now, Eric, you claim you will never unblock Gonzo. He said that before, and then you unblock me. So Eric's, Eric's logic is kind of, uh, kind of stupid. So you You're claiming really he did unblock you. He unblocked me like three times. He's, he's full of shit. He always says he's going to unblock. He's never going to unblock me, and then he ends up unblocking me. Eric, he's going to unblock me again for a fourth time. Eric, how do you respond to that? Well, I may have unblocked him before, but not again ever. Hey, Howard, Eric's threatened to throw me off the Tower Bridge in Sacramento. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, sent him a, I sent him an email because I thought it would be fun for us to do the Wonderlic Challenge, the right. uh, that little game you were talking about yesterday, the sure. IQ uh, football fantasy quiz. Absolutely, yeah. So I told Eric, I was like, it'd be fun to do like a little challenge because Eric always calls me an idiot, and he has a really low IQ, so I was like, it'd be fun to... Stupid. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but Eric's... My, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm sure I would beat you in the, in the Wonderlic. So I, I emailed Eric that with a friendly little email. I said, Eric, let's take the Wonderlic. It'd be fun for the show. And then whoever wins, like, if I win, you unblock me. If I lose, then Will you know, do I'll it? stop calling the show. Eric, you no, he, no, he told me to go kill myself and jump off the Tower Bridge in Sacramento. Well, I understand so, why he's upset because you're accusing him of doing. You accused case, him of starting Ebola. You accused him of doing all different kinds of weird things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, he's um, done nothing but accuse me of bullshit that I have not done. All right. Well, Eric, you said the that fucking image, her little prick. Eric just doesn't want to have fun. He's just a, he's just an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> and by the way, stop playing the bully victim card because you're the one. Boy, look at look at the emails that you send me, Eric. If, ever, if you go if you go on Twitter, if you go on my Twitter account, you can see Eric's Eric's emails to me. They're clearly bullying. There's, I mean, it's it's an, it's a it's defense, moron. I'm the what? one being the victim, standing up to the bully. <laughs> How am I bullying, Eric? I just email you and I say, let's have fun and let's take this chance. Um, fuck. How am I harassing you, stupid? You're such a retard, Eric. I'm just, I'm just, I just asked you to take a challenge, and then you get all offended, and then you send me this crazy email with like nothing but caps, and like basically yelling at me through email and call me a dipshit, a Gonzo, dumb fuck. Gonzo, didn't idiot. you say, didn't you say that you could get Eric laid? I did say that, and I told Eric I can get him laid, but he's he he hates me so much he won't even. I can't. Well, I probably can't get him laid because I, I don't know who's fucking him, but I could probably get him a hand job at least. The very, at the very least. Gonzo, why are you picking on poor Eric like that? <laughs> I'm not picking on him, George. I, I'm, I, I seriously, I'm a, I'm a fan. <laughs> no, George, George, George doesn't, George doesn't know the, our relationship, Eric. I'm, yes, I'm I don't. But you're, you're yeah, being a, very mean to him. I know. I'm sorry, George. He just worked me up, George. You should. He, he's just been like sending really mean emails and like really <laughs> crazy stuff, and I do feel bad. I'm sorry, Eric. I, I, Is that true, I'm, Eric? Yes, he's blowing the he's blowing the ever loving shit out of me, George. Eric, it's, it's, are you uh, are you confirming that? I'm standing up for myself. It's I'm, and I'm, have you been I'm, sending I'm, those uh, Gonzo? Well, there emails replying to his bullshit. 
If you go to, if you go to my Twitter. See, it's not clear what's so, going so, on, George. Uh, yeah, who's, who's bullying who? Yeah, it's because not I'm clear. coming in, in from left field on this. I don't know what's been going on. Gonzo sounded like he was bullying you, but then now it sounds yeah. like you have been. Uh, there's a history behind your relationship. You have been uh, not very kind to him either. Not at all. <laughs> Eric, you oh, want to apologize sure. to Gonzo? <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, and, and I'm an Eric Bieter fan. Um, Oh, you are. Like, I've always you been there. Certainly, don't sound like a fan. I know he got the best of me. Sometimes, like I, I, I let him get the best of me. Jerry, what is it? Upset. What do you want to say about this? Terrible. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I just wanted to say that I just spent the last 20 minutes reading an Eric um, email that he sent to all of us oh. with a plethora of ideas, just tons and tons of ideas. What does he have? Well, I'm going to go through some of the, it took me. A, it's a long time to get through them. Okay, the first idea he has is he wants to start an airline where. Uh, men could go to bachelor parties, so there's a stripper pole in the airline. But in the airline, there's a section up front for handicapped people with registered nurses. No, that's a gif. <laughs> wait, wait, gif. Are you airline. mixing up? Uh, <laughs> I, I guess I am. I guess I am. Eric, explain it because that's a fascinating idea. So you want to start an airline for bachelor parties where there's a stripper pole. That's one idea. And then the other idea seems to be a special airline for people like yourself where they have uh, unbelievable first class accommodations for handy capable people. Right. And then one thing else about the airline, it, the flight tenants would be all nurses or EMT and then <laughs> the other thing is there would not be any nut product. It sounds like a f no, 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 no. <laughs> it sounds like and a maybe no nuts. <laughs> Eric, it sounds like an, a, 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 an airline that would be really just perfect for you. Well, Eric, you're a nut yourself, so I don't think you... Howard, every one of Eric's ideas is to benefit Eric. Right. Just so you know. So, in, in well, other words... Well, it, is Eric going to be able to take the, the airline with the stripper pole? Well, I, don't think Eric, I don't think Eric understands that the airline that he's talking about that would benefit him couldn't sustain it as a business because there's not enough people to fly. Yeah, but what if Eric, with all his acting work, he'd have to fly constantly, so... And he, he, keep he, it can, he, can, he can't even go up to high elevations, too, right? All right, here's another great idea that I love. No, you can't even take the plane, Eric, because you can't go on high ele elevations. I can with an oxygen machine. So why can't we send you to the Bunny Ranch to get laid and, and, you have, an and hook you up to an oxygen machine? <laughs> well, why couldn't you come to the birthday show with the oxygen machine? At ground he's level. Being, he's just being difficult. <laughs> See, Gonzo, oh, has a, Gonzo has a point. Yeah, he's always difficult with everything. Like, even just trying to, like, just do the, the most basic stuff with him. He's just, like, he hey, was, Eric, to be cool. I know that these are your ideas, but what about on that plane that has the private nurses and the EMT workers? How about if all the nurses have to have, like, double D breasts? <laughs> what do you think of that idea? That's my idea. Would you incorporate that or not? I don't know because that airline is off the family friends on. Oh, what? that's the Howard, family, but you uh, family one. It's a family friend, but you have now gone into his next idea. What's that? Okay. He has decided that he wants to get into a, a, a term I've never heard. But the restaurant business, it's, it's restaurants with big-breasted women. So this particular restaurant that he's interested in opening up, this chain, is for people who are into big slabs of meat, but also girls with double-D breasts. And the name of that restaurant would be called Racks. Like that. Has he ever heard of Hooters? <laughs> yeah, there's a Hooters. Yeah, but hey, Rax is better. Because <laughs> there's big slabs of meat there. Sounds misogynistic to all, me. All the, uh, I forgot, all the waitresses have to have D cups or bigger to work at Rax. Now, Eric, is that a family? Men? Eric, is that a family friendly restaurant? That one would be the only one of the category that wouldn't. I see. The stripper pole in the airline is, it, not, is family friendly? No, 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 Robin. The category of restaurant. The other oh. ones that are in that category, Twin Peaks, Hooters, and uh, Twisted Kilt, they're all uh, family friendly. So yours would not be. Eric. Right. So That's a very creepy, Eric. <laughs> Eric, would you be the guy checking to make sure all the girls had the proper breast size? Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh, he came up with the idea. You know, 
Eric, I want to say Eric is like a mini Steve Jobs with all his good ideas. <laughs> oh, there's way more. So what else? There's way more. Steve Jobs. Um, here's one no one's ever thought of. Uh, King of all media records. You Go should ahead. basically start a record label. Howard should start a record label. I've heard that before. but um, Here's another one that well, I love. Big, a mini Larry Flint. But, but how do big titties work into that concept? That one it doesn't. But, okay. but uh, there's, a lot, there's one that I couldn't fully comprehend that, uh, that involved um, figuring out how to modify the entire world for people like him. So to take stuff that's for average size people and make it for little people. But just mm -hmm. like in, for, as what? far as housing and everything like that, right? Like building small houses. So there'd be communities houses. of little houses. I guess. I yes. guess. And here's my, one of my favorite ones. And he <laughs> wants to do an updated version of Dougie the Puggy, as if the original version was so popular. Yeah, it's, it's time to update. It's that. time to update. You <laughs> never even finished that, but yeah, oh. Eric, you never really. I finished. I finished it. It has been got published. Now it's more about oh, that was two thousand seven. So. <clears throat> You know, it, the uh, storyline is based in 2007, so I just want to kind of, I guess, more or less scrap that whole storyline and start over with a more current up to date. So but, but, what was it, uh, you know, what was the time sequence that we need to change? What what about updating it? What what happened in Dougie the Puggy that was so 1980s or whatever it was? Well, George Bush was involved and he was the president. <laughs> All right, listen, I got to go. Is there any other? Go give me one more because this was this was the the one yeah. that I totally couldn't I couldn't follow it. It started out with saying he wants to prove that he's smarter than his IQ test. And again, Eric, if I'm getting it wrong. I apologize. Cause it's, it's all over the place, but it somehow involves you creating an HBO show for him of some sort where he is. I couldn't. Feel, it's, he's sort of like a mastermind of everything, almost like Charlie and Charlie's Angels. But right. Nobody knows that, but he's really masterminding all the stuff. And I wasn't sure how that was going to, if he was playing a character, how that was going to tell the world he had a bigger IQ. Eric, you want to explain that one real quick? <laughs> uh, I guess I sort of wrote the paragraphs different because he's mixing it up. I was saying that all those ideas together prove that I have an IQ higher at uh, 90. Well, wait a second. It said idea number 10, because it was 10 <laughs> ideas. Idea number 10, I want to prove I have a higher IQ. And then you went on to this whole script for an HBO show. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I, think, know I, I think having George here, the appropriate question would be, George, how do you feel about Eric the actor claiming uh, he will not take any acting roles where he plays a gay person? Well, you know, I've been listening to all of this, and it sounds like a science fiction world <laughs> in which all the rest of us are the aliens. <laughs> right. But he has announced on the air that he will not play gay characters. Well, then he's not an actor. Right. Some of the yes, greatest acting you. performances have been by straight actors playing gay. You're talking, of course, about Jake Gyllenhaal in uh, Brokeback Mountain. You're talking... Jared uh, Le uh, Leto. Yes, Jared Leto. Got an Oscar for it. Matthew and, uh, McConaughey. Yeah. So Eric doesn't Dallas want to be a Myers real actor Club. and certainly doesn't want to qualify for uh, an Oscar. And did you know also, George, that Eric was following a, uh, he, unknowingly he was following a transgender um, person, and um, it was a male, a male to female, and he found out that it was a transgender, and he unfollowed and blocked her. Yeah, what do you make Only, of that? Just, that because, just, because, just because she's a transgender, which was, I think, I feel personally was kind of a... Uh, kind of out of line. It's, it is out of line. And yeah. I think it reflects very poorly on you, Eric. All I right. mean, we Let's live find in out what Eric has the to say. The 21st century. George, uh, it's let, let the man defend himself. All right. Let's All hear right. you. Go ahead. Okay, hi. Oh, is it maybe mocking us? <laughs> yeah, what happened oh, to him? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Oh, Robin, I love it. Me... There's silence and some garbled <laughs> sounds. Yeah, her name is Kimber James, by the way, if you guys. She's a very, very sweet woman, and Eric just... just Offended her? She, yeah, just because she was, you know, had a penis at one point, Eric I go, decided just to say fuck her. I go, uh, Eric, defend her. Like, <laughs> I don't think there's any kind of justification either coming from uh, Eric. Eric, well, let Eric is it just it. silence? Go ahead, Eric. Okay. The only reason why I blocked was because of the shit that I was getting from you and others. So if you had left it alone, I wouldn't have blocked her. I would have just unsolved. 
But what did she do? She didn't do anything to you. She, just a, she was just a person that happened to one at one point have a penis and then what have a tr you know have a surgery and then. All right, guys, to I gotta it. go. Uh, <laughs> 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 Eric, he, he was attracted to her. He was attracted to her, and he felt he felt weird about it. And he, he well, Gonzo, if you give the man a chance to talk, I, I, I can't really understand Eric's defense, but I'm sure there's a good one. Yeah. Well, he still hasn't told George why he doesn't take gay roles. Uh, well, I don't understand the sounds he's making. <laughs> <laughs> he's speaking a whole different well, alien everyone, language. Well, let Eric speak. Go ahead, Eric. Okay. Now, I wholeheartedly respect gay people. I support gay people. I think they have the right to be married. They have the right to serve in the military. So I am in no way, shape, or form a fucking homophobic person. Those so would you have oh, you were being are... mis misrepresented then. Well, well, why don't you take gay roles? Answer the question. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm the people that are, are completely fucking ridiculous. There's Ooh. nothing different other than the fact that a gay person wants to be in a relationship with another Why guy. Why will you not play, a, uh, let's say, a cross-dressing man? Yeah, Ronnie, please. Did you see, did you see, uh, te uh Texas, uh, or Dallas, uh, Buyers, Buyers Club? Society, Buyers Club. No, I'm not. I don't think he'll even watch a gay Jared film. Jared Leto played... I don't think he'll even watch a gay film. I, he, will you, Eric, will you watch a gay film? I think he's afraid if he watches a gay film, he'll turn gay. So he's like... And will you yeah. ever watch a gay film? I've seen bits and pieces of Brokeback Mountain because my mom was watching it on hotel TV. Why but not you watch... you don't watch gay movies? And you won't act a gay part? And you call yourself I, an actor? It's all a ruse. I got a feeling that. I watch Philadelphia. All right. All right. All right. Tom all right. Hanks. That's yes, good. that's good. <laughs> Tom Hanks. And what'd you think? It was good. Eric, you mean to tell me if I tell you right now that in the next Star Trek film, you could play opposite George Takei as his gay lover, you would not take the movie? No offense, George, but no. Because you're not an actor. Yeah, I'll take You that just part. proved that you're not an actor. All you have to do is be his husband, you know, and, you know, and maybe give him a hand job in the shower. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> that would be the only thing you'd have to be called. Little wrestling. Yeah. Little wrestling. <laughs> a real actor and knows wrestling. how to play a character other than himself. Can you do that? I'll blow you in the transporter room. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, 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 Eric loves the rest. Oh, I'd be transported. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, are you willing to watch Two Men Kiss? I prefer watching Two Women Kiss. No, that's not the question. Would you, the question. Would you kiss me? <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd pay to see that. <laughs> I, wish. I would do, as, as a matter of fact. <laughs> All right, why, do we do, why don't we do a quick screen test? Okay, <laughs> Eric, you're in a scene with George right now. You're on the you're on the Star Trek Enterprise. Uh, you're playing his husband, and you say, "George, I'm madly in love with you." Okay, and action. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Eric? I'm not I'm not doing that. All right, there you go. See, I told you Eric will not take a He is part. not an actor. You gotta take that word the actor off his name. I'm not going to. It would break his heart. Eric, I well, love you, but uh, uh you know, listen, he's not comfortable playing gay roles. And he's that's not it. even comfortable watching gay roles. You know what? Eric is re representative. He hasn't seen whoa, 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 whoa. Eric well, is then, there there I have to stop you. <laughs> <laughs> oh you got you gotta be I was stopped. gonna say something, George, that's yes. relevant. Uh, and this is really important to say to defend Eric, that many actors, leading actors in Hollywood, will not take gay roles because they are afraid it will hurt their image. That is true. Eric does not stand alone in the acting community. We happen ah. to just find this out about it. Right. Eric's only one of the honest ones, honestly. I mean, in his defense, uh, he does admit that he will not take gay roles, but uh, if you notice... Uh, I never saw a lot of uh, leading men not to, you know, they, they, they avoid the gay role. Even, well, um, yes, that is true. And even, that is because part, it's part of uh, the...
the societal phobia. Of- Even Will Smith, when he played a gay role, refused to deliver a gay kiss, which was part of the uh, character's role. I'm going to change Eric's name to this. Yes. Eric, the super straight heterosexual actor. (laughs) Because he will not, he will not take a gay role. Uh, That's a thought. Well, I I would still uh, chop off that actor part. Okay, fair enough. We're just going to have to leave it at that. Eric, have you ever had a gay dream before? Like, have you ever fallen asleep and, like, had a, like, a gay dream? No. Uh, yes, you have. I doubt that. Oh, Tab Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> he was my crush when I was young. <laughs> oh, yes. If well, I, it, it, had I only known that he was gay. Oh, my God. You could have gone and visited him. Oh, my goodness. Is he not was. with us any longer? Uh, no, he's not uh, an actor anymore. I mean, he doesn't have a career. That's as good as being dead. <laughs> uh, George, would you be willing to make love to a little person in a movie? Mm. Of course I would. Of course, because if, you're an actor. the role calls for it. Right. Hey, George, did you ever uh, meet Eric in the Brambles back in the summer? <laughs> hey, uh, it's called the Rambles. Oh, the Rambles. Yeah, Howard's been calling it the Brambles. Brambles. I've heard it was the Brambles. But... <laughs> no, it's the Rambles. I like the Brambles more. For it. Hey, uh, by the way, uh, Reese Witherspoon is on the phone. I want to say a quick hello to her. Eric, you're an actor, so you can stay on with her. Yes, Reese, what's up? Hi, Eric, it's Reese. Yes. I-, I love you. I would love to act alongside of you. Can we rehearse a little bit? I'm not falling for this. I'm not kidding, Eric. I listen to the show. I love Howard. Grace, thank you, first of all, for calling in and speaking with Eric. I think it's great. Uh, Go ahead. Do a scene with Eric. Eric, come on. You got to start. He'll he'll, he'll fall in. He's an actor. Eric, tell me you love me. (laughs) I'm not falling for this. I'm not gullible. You're blowing it, Eric. (laughs) You're blowing it. All right, Reese Witherspoon calling in and uh, demanding Eric a scene. Eric will not do a scene with her. <laughs> All right, well, there Eric, you go. Eric, tell me what you love best about me. All right, thank you, Reese. It was a waste of time. Eric, uh, thank you, and uh, thanks He's for calling in. Going to the in. well one too many times. Uh, he, he can only go so far. And, uh, Eric, thank you very much. Check out Brickleberry on the 16th of September. Uh-huh. When the echoes to it, my episode will be on. Fair All enough. Right. And by the way, Eric claims he is not the uh, originator of Ebola virus, and he was not in <laughs> Ferguson, Missouri. <laughs> and he doesn't start wildfires. And you didn't start. You did not start in the wildfire, California, right? Right. Right. Okay. And I'm not any older than 39. Oh. Okay. So I was not <laughs> going anywhere in the 70s. Okay. Where did he say you went? He said to George, asked him if he'd ever met me at whatever place that was. <laughs> oh, the Brambles. No, the Brambles. <laughs> Brambles. All right, thank you. He wasn't right. born then. Eric, the actor, everybody. Eric, the incredibly straight <laughs> heterosexual actor. Na 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 na. In person. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Bye. Na 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 na